away we go. Yep. What's up, guys? New intro today. <laughs> I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? Not hey, guys. What's up, guys? Yeah. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> okay. That, that is true. Looking at YouTube analytics, half of the viewers are not subscribed. So oh. just take a second. <laughs> subscribe. Like, like the Facebook page. It's totally free. It's, yeah. it's free. That's, that's what if they it, say all the if time. It, if it costed money, you would not see me subscribing to anybody. Yeah. But it's free, so I subscribe. But I was, you know, on the weekends and stuff, I bump into people that they say they watch the show and stuff like that. And it's like, are you sure you know how to run a computer? <laughs> <laughs> um, heck yeah. What do so you, heck yeah. <laughs> what do you mean they don't know how to run a computer? Well, I bumped into, you know. Like they're old people well, or? Jimmy Goldsmith, I bumped into him uh, oh, yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. And Jimmy works with us. Yeah, and and Donnie Killian, you know, it's like I didn't know you guys knew what the internet was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what you meant. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, comment. We uh, yeah, we asked for some comments or uh, for some questions for today's video. Yeah. So we got a few. It looked like so we'll read through those. Oh yeah, didn't Regan have a question on the oh, last one too? Man, or yeah. a couple ago and we forgot. Yep. He asked, uh, "The how, how does a posi track, track work in the rear end of a Plymouth?" Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, and it just it, does. It just does. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, to start it off with, I had a question for Kyle though. So I just showed Kyle my Toyota Tundra. Mandy uh, went down to the cities this weekend, smoked a grouse or a pheasant right up in the right of the the front of the fender. Put a pretty good little dent in it. So. I had a question for Kyle on how to get that dent out. I had, like, I've seen videos of how I would have attempted it. A plunger. I was going to pour some hot water on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a trick? Or <laughs> let, am I going to do it wrong? I, I mean, like, the hot water is just, like, kind of heat up the panel. That way the metal is... <clears throat> You can a little work more it, flexible. Work it a little better. Yeah. You usually just use like a heat gun or something like that. I don't have a heat gun. Okay. So, um, I was going to air dryer. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. But you don't necessarily have to on something like this. Okay. So it's about a fist. Yep. You know, it's not like a little ding or any dings are worse than the, the fist size dents. So something like that, you, you it's could l- use like a plunger. You yeah. Know. That's what I was planning on doing. Well, doesn't have to be a plunger and like there's other tools that they make you know yeah. for like putting in windows and shit you know you have it's a suction cup oh it's sure. basically a plunger yeah yeah it's like a little <laughs> you know gecko's fingers yeah. you know just that times however you know octopus even has them <laughs> <laughs> true i think those are called tentacles yeah. so yeah. no the things yeah. on the tentacles yeah. Are, yeah. are suction cups you yeah. can stick that to it pull it out and then on where you have to remember where the dent was. Yeah. You know, so you pull it out, then you can just take a body hammer or, in your case, a hammer and just put, like, a paper towel around it, something. Yeah. So it's not metal touching the paint and just kind of tap on them creases and that dent will come out. Huh. Okay. I was I was going to I was gonna pour, like, a, a pitcher of hot water on it. Just what I've seen on the internet, you know. <laughs> you know yeah. what you can find on the internet. Yeah. I've never, oh, yeah. Seen, I've, I've never even seen that. And then, uh, and then, and then plunger it out. Yeah, it's just to, to heat it up. But usually, when you stick a plunger on them, they'll usually want to go back in because that metal is stretched. Yeah, into that spot. Oh, so okay. when you pull it out, you want to tap them back so you kind of get sure, sure, get it back down. Okay, we'll but, have to try it. Yeah, and there's probably still going to be remnants of a dent there. God dang it, Mandy! But did she keep the grouse? No, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good real kill. It, yeah. She didn't know if it was grouse or a pheasant. She mm. said it came right out of the side of the ditch and just poof. Should have put it in the crock pot. Feathers everywhere. Mm-hmm. It happens. Yeah, and it, yeah. Of course, my truck too. So episode twenty-five. Uh, yeah, we're back at it again. I like these bodywork segments that we yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I could have just asked you just off camera, but I figured it'd be a cool question to to get a professionals. Or, like, even you guys would have, like, maybe some glue that you would stick on there and pop it. Yeah, so the, we use, it's, like, basically a hot glue gun. Yeah. And then uh, with little, you get different size tips with yeah. it or whatever, depending on how big the dent is. But for something that's bigger than a fist, you yeah. know, I would just use a plunger. Huh. 
Or you got a plunger? Yeah, Not I got a, a real plunger. But I got a plunger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll try it after when we're sure. done here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can get it to come out. <laughs> yeah. So episode 25, a uh, lot of stuff ha- going on this weekend. Uh, ERX, Snowcross mm-hmm. was this weekend. Jesse Hallstrom, Sp- Sport Light, jumping on yellow flags. What mm-hmm. are you doing, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> yes. S- solid move. Fr- yeah. Friday, he was in the lead, like lap two of Sport Light final. And like down the back stretch, the yellow flags are out. And he like, he like just raised the front end to like carry the skis to the next jump. Mm-hmm. Next lap around, black flagged him. All the way to the end. No way. They were they've been really sticklers on no ski lifts on yellow flags at all. Huh. <clears throat> wow. So that was kind of a bummer. They're to see. made to be going through the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, like that's too bad. I yeah, I don't think they need to be that stick that big of a stickler on yellow flags. Mm-hmm. But uh, and then yesterday he got second in Sport Light final okay. behind uh, Lawrence Egg mm-hmm. up from Greenbush area. So uh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Huh. Good for him getting second. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was interesting. So, yeah, ERX, they actually had a little bit more snow than a lot of other people, but just small track again, left-handed turns only. Mm-hmm. So, now hopefully they're going to Duluth now in, like, two weeks? Or is it next weekend? It's got to be two weeks. Two weeks, I think, because next weekend, or, yeah, maybe it is next weekend, the third or something like that. Not sure. I don't know what day it is. But it looks like Duluth is making a lot of snow. So Yeah, yeah, it should be should be an interesting show still up in the air if, one of us is going to make a trek over there. Are you going? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> you just want to go watch or what? Yeah, I'd like to just go watch. We'll see. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been to a snowcross race. Probably yeah. the last time they raced at Duluth. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh and then uh, one other thing. If, you're, if you've listened to us like since the beginning, right now we're trying something different with the audio. Vince mm-hmm. said we were a little quiet the last – he said we're quiet. Mm-hmm. So – I've made a, hopefully, I've made an adjustment, and we're a little bit louder, so you can turn us down. Makes hopefully. sense. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we're not too loud. <laughs> well, you, yeah, ho- hopefully. So, let us know if the adjustment worked. Well, yeah I, yeah, I don't think we could be too loud if you're doing it after the, the recording. If I was messing with the audio here, then we might be peaking in the video yep. when you upload it. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah, we're going to make that adjustment. So Should be fine. Vince was mad. Mm-hmm. He was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had snowcross, supercross, Jackson Hole hill climb, F1, mm-hmm. you name it, MotoGP, Brody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Portuguese, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where they were. <laughs> Kyle, anyway. uh, pistons for the old ones, ERT, yeah. are impossible to find. Yep. Yep. Why? Ooh. You can find them for the 2000. Yeah. Like, is it 96, 95 to 2000? I think we're all the same. Yeah, they should be. And then they threw exhaust valves on them. Yep. And it was only a two year run. So yep. 01 and 02 were the only, well, they also, you know, they had them in like the grand tourings and stuff like that, that engine. Oh. But, you know, only a two year engine. Yep. It's pretty hard to, and it's getting really old now. Yep. You know, it's 20 some years old. Yep. So it's yeah. Mm, what do we do? Mm, best bet is try to find some NOS Suzuki ones. Hmm. Yeah. But those are about really hard to find. Yep. Like yeah. I was throwing the, the piston part number out there to beat heck, mm-hmm. and couldn't know mm-hmm. nothing was coming up. Yeah, you'll find some in somebody, some vintage collector's stash. <laughs> you'll want to arm and leg for them too. Uh probably. You know, <clears throat> sometimes you get lucky. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, we're yeah. I'm looking into the, into that right now too. What do you need pistons for? I don't know. It might uh, just in case. Might do some engine work to this yeah. thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know, open open is open. Open is open, all right? Yeah. God dang it. <laughs> Not completely open, no. Can't be. Not. Yeah. There is regulations. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But so I want an open, open class. <laughs> and I'd show up. On, well, yeah, we're back to the if the fantasy race again. The open, yeah. open. If it was open, yeah. open. It would like be an Apex engine and a Gen 2. No, just get even on an Apex. A, yeah, even an Apex because oh, yeah. they're a, a 121 or whatever. <laughs> yep. You know, don't yep. fuck. Throw a Cobra track on it. You'll haul ass. Oh, yeah. No, not a Cobra. No. 
You wouldn't put a Cobra track on? No, your? Ripsaw. Ripsaw one. Oh, I didn't. I meant hacksaw. Track. Oh yeah, hacksaw one inch. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm. Yeah. There's so many different ones now. Yep. And now we're getting into the R tracks. I don't understand the R tracks. Me either, man. And now uh, I seen the oval racing, the the 106 mm-hmm. R track they run. Mm-hmm. They're having like somebody make a new batch of them or mm-hmm. something. That's well above my knowledge of oval racing. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually in the market for a 106. What skid and track? Not for not for any racing projects. Yeah. Just for another project that I have. Oh really? Yeah. Just for fun. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be just a. It's a for me sled. Mm-hmm. That one that I just want to have. Yeah. Hi. Uh. <laughs> what have you been up to, Brody? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that relates to motorsports at all. <laughs> so you're running. Yeah, well, yeah, trying to when it's warm, warmer. <laughs> when big, it, big snowstorm. So <laughs> yeah, it's a blizzard out right now. So the, uh, there's no snow. There's yeah. a lot of speculation yesterday whether we're going to get a ride middle of the week or not. Yeah, it's up in the air. Well, it's, it was supposed to snow all day today, tomorrow, Monday, or no? Oh, today's it's, Sunday. Today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. It's supposed to snow all day, all day, all night tonight, mm-hmm. tomorrow, and then into Tuesday. So we'll see. Yeah. As of right now, it should have started two hours. It started, should have started like three hours ago. Mm-hmm. Haven't got anything. No. <clears throat> I hope we don't get any snow. Honestly, yeah, kind of in the same boat. I already put everything away. Yeah, me too. Like <laughs> one more week of dry weather, our track will be dried out mm-hmm. and be riding on it. Yeah, my yard was dried out. No, all this crap's gonna melt again, and it's gonna get muddy. Yeah. Then I'll be crap out of luck <laughs> for gravel again. Yeah. Yeah, call Deer Doll Construction for all your gravel needs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll drive to the cities and bring you a load. With <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Dylan uh, Dylan Dorn actually asked me, I think, over by, to bring some over by Bore Up. Oh, yeah. I think that's where he has a straw. Mm. It's like, uh, I think that's a little too far for yeah, us. Yeah, that Bore is up. a little trick. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> right now, <clears throat> we're going to be giving Wes Selby a call. Mm. The man, the mountain man himself. The mountain man. I think he won 600, 600 class at Jackson Hole Hill Climb right now. Mm. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll see. This is this is a. Uh... We'll see. We'll see here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Come on, Wes. That guy. Are, are, you, are you just cold calling him or what? No, he's just. Huh. Hey Wes, how's it going? Hey, not too bad. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, you're good. You're uh, you're at Jackson Hole right now, still, right? Yeah, I just got done racing. Oh, really? <laughs> oh you just got done racing? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. yep. Wow. Just got undressed. Oh, <laughs> don't get your hope, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wes, so how how did it go for you this weekend? I went pretty good, like. Qualifying on uh, Friday was really good on the stock sled, um, was fastest in all those classes, and uh, made all three, but then yesterday in the mod just had some, I don't know, in the first one I messed up because I was side hilling and hit a hole and it just high sided me, so that uh, put an end to that run, and then the second one, I was there's more traction this year than there ever has been when I've been here. And like the way I had my sled set up, it was more for um, like icy, just spinning a lot. And I was trying to get, tra- or I, it was getting too much traction. So then I was trying to keep the front end down with the brakes and just burn my brakes out. And then it was just <laughs> done after that. <laughs> so like, is, that's what I, I seen two videos that you had posted of yesterday. It was your 600 mod and 700 mod. And that, yeah, yeah, that was yep. where you kind of spun out there both times. But, but today, yes. today you won 600 stock, right? Yeah. So today went pretty good. Uh, I won six stock and then second and six improved. And then, um, seven improved. I think I got fourth or something. I got a rock. Uh, I was going up a trench and a rock sucked up into the track in the tunnel and stopped the track from spinning. So <laughs> wow. that basically, yeah, it was done at that point, but it, I mean, the beginning of the day, like the hill was gnarly. Like 
they they were trying to make a side hill across the frozen patch and like the first time I made it up on the six stock class past that point but then I didn't have to go up any higher and me and Garth were sharing the six stock sled so I just stopped once I knew I was high enough and to save the sled from probably getting totaled and then uh the other two I got stuck it was my I mean I wasn't going any higher than I with both of those but it uh they moved the gates after our seven mod class so it made it easier and then like the king run I made it up farther but then there was a wall and I that's the bad part about riding this 600 is you don't have enough power to wheelie over some of the stuff once you get the steep stuff so I tried to wheelie up a thing and then it just like I jumped in and just landed and was stuck there so that kind of stung but um other than that it was a good weekend like sled was worked good I I ride the snowcross sled and then my other one's a snowcross turbo sled so like I can ride those pretty good on the corners and stuff or if I when I tried to do mountain sleds on like a race track I struggle in the corners just because uh so used to ride and race like 600 snow crossers and cross countries that yeah and those um, those the longer ones yeah. don't turn <laughs> yeah and they just like they're skinny and then the way you turn them like the guys that do it they're gnarly and they're really good at it but like for me I'm used to or you guys too like you're used to going around a corner with your skis and steering around it where these guys they're uh side hill and through the corner like and they go faster corner that way but like when i do it it's like i look like a retard i don't know if that's <laughs> good, but, uh, it's not good <laughs> so it's like it's a struggle for me but um it's they like i said they do it good but if you put them on a snow cross sled or a cross country sled then they look the same way i do on a mountain sled so yeah it's, it's, uh, it's just their it's, discipline that they've just dialed yeah. in yeah exactly so it's been fun. It's the weather's kind of been crappy. Like the yesterday when I was going up, you're like having to wipe your goggles while you're going right open up the hill. And like, it's kind of gnarly. And like today is kind of the same way just now it's kind of on and off, and, but it's good. I mean, being able to race with the weather conditions, the way they've been all years, uh, been a uh, struggle for everyone. So just happy to get back to racing. And my wrist is kind of not, fully healed but it still is decent and then i kind of jammed it again but it's uh <laughs> it's kind of one of those things if you want to just sit at home and watch everyone then it'll feel good but yeah uh, how how are there how are there snow conditions to like years past out there i'd say it's less than last year but it's been warm and raining too so it's like a usually it's like more icy and like layered real hard snow but this year it's like crusty on the top and then it's like more marsh underneath like swampy kind of wet snow hmm. um so like even walking down the hill this morning because we went up this morning right when it was getting light out and like you're still post holing through with your feet where normally it's not really like that so hmm. it's a different like even all the other racers that hill climb guys they're like oh, we've never seen it like this with snow it's like and it's weird because you go from uh spinning to good traction and like so you're on and off the gas all the time and it's just kind of a crazy year this year for the snow but it's uh they got decent snow i mean Coming here and stuff, it wasn't that much snow around town, but in the compared to the years past, especially last year. But that I think last year was crazy everywhere for snow. Yeah. But uh, then I think I don't know. It's hard at home in Colorado. There's quite a bit of snow. We got a bunch of snow last weekend. There's like a four foot storm. So Jeez. um, it's kind of kind of crazy. But I think I don't know if they're supposed to get any more snow weather up here this next week or not. But huh. so yeah. It's, so yeah, six, it's going good. Yeah, with, six, yeah. with the six hundred win, that's got to be pretty, yeah pretty happy. You get a big. Uh, what do they pay good out there for that, or is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean they pay pretty decent. It's fun. I, it just uh, like I don't know. That, it's been fun racing different disciplines and um, getting. It's obviously any race you go to, you don't want to get second or even third or fourth or whatever. So it's pretty hard. These guys are fast out here. So it's pretty hard to come here and do good against them where um, I enjoy it, you know, and I ride mountain sleds quite a bit, so that helps out. But um, it's pretty cool to be able to come to different disciplines and do good at them. I don't, there's not many people. I can only think of a couple that have come out from cross country or snow cross and one at Jackson. So it's kind of like one of those things I take pretty pride in it, you know? Yeah. But, uh, and it's fun. I mean, that's fun seeing Garth and all these other guys that are out here. They're all, it's kind of, I always compare hill climb to cross country where it's kind of like a big family and everyone's so friendly and help each other out and stuff where 
some of the other disciplines that you're racing against each other, like cross country isn't that way, but like snow cross and stuff, everyone's kind of, kind of does their own thing where these guys, I mean, they're out hanging out every night and having fun and, uh, it's pretty good time. So, yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. How many racers are there that are doing hill climb? Um, shit, I don't know. Like some of the classes here had 40 people in them. Oh, okay. And then. I think most of the classes I did, they had like 25, maybe 30 people in them. So okay. they take five, they take five to the, depending on how many people there's in there, they take like five or seven or nine or maybe, and I think that in 900 classes, they take like 18 or something to the final. So, wow. uh, yeah, it's kind of depends on the class, like 900 stock and improved in turbo. Like that's the one that skidoo or um players or autocad or anyone wants to win just because it's like their production sleds that they're trying to sell the most of so they try to throw as many people as they can in those classes too but i mean there's some of the same guys that are winning those classes too racing like the 600 mod and stuff too so it's pretty it's kind of a mixed up this depends on who wants to ride what sled pretty much yeah um so it's kind of different i, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a hill climb out this way but it's Nope. Jackson's one of the ones to come check out. Like it's just the town is cool and like the way you can watch the whole race and everyone's here partying and vendors and stuff. It's pretty cool actually. Mm. No, I've never cool. never been out west. The the <laughs> only the only hills I've climbed are probably the hills of Gully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you went hills. to it. Yeah. You went to a gravel you went to a gravel pit and rode around in a yeah, yeah. gravel yeah, pit yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know about rocks uh, and the coolers and all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like nah. Wes, when you're going up it and like you're coming to a stop there, like it almost seems like when you have to turn around and kind of go back down is almost harder than going up it almost. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly going up is like, it's steep and it doesn't do it justice on any videos. Like I remember the first time I came here, like you get past the first catwalk and it starts getting steeper than like the second catwalk. It's like, okay, now this is the real deal. Like, and you're looking up like you're, I'm not kidding. Like you look up and your neck and your helmet are like hitting your back and you can't, like you need to look up more and you can't. And you're just like, oh no, what did I, and it's like polished off rocks and dirt. And then it's just ice and you're just like, what in the heck? But then <laughs> like sometimes like one time today I was sliding down backwards and you can't really do nothing about it. And there's like hill climb or the helpers that are jumping on your sled, just trying to help you and stuff. And like, they're the, those guys are awesome. Like if they didn't have those guys, it'd be insane. But it's funny today. Cause then I got my, uh, rock in my cooler and like, I had to come down to the catwalk and this guy came down with me. He's like, I'll come and help you. Yada, yada. And then he rode down with me and he's like, we got down to the catwalk, got it undone. And then we went down the return lanes and stuff. And he's like, this is scarier than going up. I, like, he's like, this is nuts. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you guys push us down. Like, it's no big deal. I'm like, friggin' next thing you know, you're just panicking, hoping you don't go bailing down the hill. But <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. So it's going down sketchy because you're just, you're kind of out of control, but in control. And then you put those, like we use Polaris quick drive belts and you put those over your uh, skis and they, slow, I mean, that's, if you didn't go with those, you'd be SOL, but, that helps a ton. Hmm. But I mean, it's like yesterday, I forgot to cool my brakes one time. So I didn't have any brakes going down. And it's just like, <laughs> you're just like panicking, like not knowing what to do, but you don't want to jump off. Like you don't want to wreck your sled. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, it's, yeah, you're it's going wild. down the hill with no brakes. Well, yeah. Like, cause I've ruined my brakes every time I, even having a jack stand because I'm an idiot. And then, like, <laughs> <laughs> then, like, I'm like, forgot to put snow on because I'm all pissed off. And the next thing you know, you're going down the hill with no brakes. You're just like, oh, no. But it's pretty funny. Even, even but, dragging his brakes going up the hill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, his wet's of, coming when he can smell that little brake smell. <laughs> mm -hmm. There goes that. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good habit to have, that's for sure. I put new pads. My one pads were no material left, so then I put new pads in, and then I burned them out even quicker. I'm like, I think I just need to start leaving the steel on steel, and then it just doesn't slow me down as much either. But <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty funny. Uh, but, no, that is, yeah, that's, that's cool, Wes. You're, you're probably one yeah. of the best to do it, to be all around, to oh, yeah. do it all around of two-time Sioux winner, like snow cross yeah. winner, cross country winner, mm -hmm. ice Le Mans winner. 
Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, I, there's a it's a pretty cool, it's a group that not many people, and I think like Simons and Brian Dick and Kirk, um, I mean, there's a handful of guys, like Dennis Dermis, he's one that, he's always kind of flown on the radar because he was back in the 90s and stuff too in 2000s, but there's a handful of guys that have done stuff like that, and uh, I mean, there's guys that are average or whatever at it too, but uh, it's hard to, it's always hard to be good at a lot of things, and I'm I'm not saying I'm good at a lot of things either, but it's it's uh, been cool to win different races, and I'm getting up there in age now where it's kind of I want to win some more races, obviously, and don't plan on quitting right now. But it's uh, every year it gets harder and harder. I mean, there's young kids that their bodies aren't worn out and all that kind of stuff, and uh, it just gets harder and harder. And I see it every year. It's like ah, but um, just gotta stay healthy and see where the racing stuff goes you know it's kind of crazy with the weather this year and you guys i mean i didn't get a hardly race at all because i messed my wrist up and um but it's you definitely miss it like for me it's like i was kind of planning on maybe going to ironwood i was just kind of seeing on my wrist built but then it's like well i can't go there well i might as well go to hill climbs i guess but um <laughs> so hopefully we'll see hopefully win some more races next year and probably go to a couple more hill climbs this year so that'll be fun yeah, is, but, there a few, uh, is there a few more to finish the year out with? Yeah, there's one. Uh, they just canceled next weekend in Montana the other day. So then now they have one in Beaver Creek, Utah, and then they have one in California. And wow. those are fun because they're, like, they're on ski hills too. So then they kind of have some jumps and turns and berms and stuff where it kind of tailors more to like Garth and I do pretty good on those on the snow cross sleds too where – it's kind of more it's like the first couple of races they have like sometimes they're going across like frozen dirt and sagebrush side hilling wide open and like it's pretty wild like i don't know i i give those guys like these guys don't get enough credit for what they do on that stuff because like if you try to do that i'm mean, like i did the one year full time it's they kind of they go across that stuff like in control but out of control and don't wreck and i don't understand it but uh <laughs> it's it's wild because you watch them do it and you're like, Oh, I could do that. And the next thing you know, you're doing it. And then you're frigging high side and dragging the side of your sled. And it's like, Oh my gosh, what did I do? That's how, that's you. how I, that's how I think watching <laughs> you and her go down the ditch. It's like, Holy <laughs> shit. How are they doing that? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's just wild. Like, like I said, if you bring any of these guys out there to do that, they would, they would be struggling, but they would do all right. But they, it's, uh, it's pretty funny to see like different, even just like snow cross to cross country to hill climb or oval racer to an oval racer to a cross country Le Mans, even like we've all seen that. Like you guys have seen that firsthand mm -hmm. where those guys are badass on an oval sled, but then like it's just a different way of riding on the ice. But then if we go to the ovals and they make us look like little kids, you know, so yeah. um, it's cool to, it's cool to see and be part of because it makes you respect them even more. Yeah. And, uh, it is crazy on how many disciplines of snowmobile racing there are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many yeah. ways to ride a snowmobile are there really? Like, <laughs> yeah. holy crap! Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's wild. And then like drag racing, there, there's all water cross. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just cool. Like, and you think, oh, I can do that, but then you go and do it, and you get just embarrassed by them. And you're like, huh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I can't do it without a little practice. But uh, it's been yeah. fun. You gotta uh, make a right turn. Oh God! Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. How uh, how far away do you live from Jackson Hole West? Uh, this race is like five hundred miles, so it's pretty close. I just drove up here with my truck, so I made it pretty quick. But hmm. um, it's pretty close, Jackson, and then like the Beaver Creek one's pretty close too. It's I think it's about the same really, and then uh, California is obviously away, so I'm. I don't know if I go to like the Utah one and then just go to, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. I need to, I should start working here soon. I haven't, <laughs> been able to, <laughs> I haven't been able to make much money racing snowmills this year. That's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see kind of what the weather does and stuff, but I think I kind of plan on doing that and just finish out the season. And I know Skidoo, they should appreciate it too. If, I mean, they kind of, they got some fast guys, but it's like more the better and, um, probably do that and feel obligated to kind of if you haven't been racing all winter and you're supposed to be since yeah. you get hurt or whatever so uh, we'll see and then hopefully next year we'll have a good winter too you know I it's kind of crazy this winter I think the 
the rain, the trickle down effect from all the manufacturers is going to be pretty intense. I think even with like aftermarket climb or FXR, any of these companies, I think it's going to be pretty dramatic with the way this winter has been, but mm, yeah. we'll see what happens, I guess. And hopefully everyone can keep everything going good next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people lost money from yeah, no, I mean, no snow this year. Yeah, sales, yeah are, I mean, sales are down, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's going to be a lot of sleds. Like, there's a lot of sleds sitting in dealerships out here, out west. I know the Midwest and stuff is the same way, but you know, they're starting to sell stuff cheap just because they're not, that way they're not sitting on all summer. It's crazy. Mm-hmm, like, you can, mm-hmm. I mean, we've been seeing, there's like a, I think like turbo sleds. Like, I'm just using examples, but like a mountain sled, $24,000 sled is selling for like 17 something now at mm-hmm. dealerships. And I'm like, it's crazy. So, you know, hopefully it'll be all right and everything will keep going, but you never know anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. So you guys, you guys haven't been riding sleds much or have you a little bit still? No, like we, we were out on the lake maybe last, early last week, uh, I would say, but like Pine okay. Lake, Pine, Pine Lake already has open water on it somehow. Every lake has huh. open water on it. Yeah. Seems like <laughs> clear water is <laughs> screwed. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very weird. Huh. It's right out in the open right out in the middle of the lake, like there's no current there or anything. Mm-hmm. And so it just opened right up. So, so yeah, we're done okay. riding right now. It's <laughs> it's hard to find a, an access that's not all heaved up, either oh, shelved okay. up. So I had yeah. to drag my two-place trailer out and <laughs> like back it up to <laughs> the ice heaves and then <laughs> drag a <it> sled out. <laughs> that kind of uh, sucked, sucks. but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have we don't have any snow. We're supposed to be getting some snow here in the next day or two, but it's not all okay. my all my stuff's put away already. I've switched to dirt biking. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much that time of year. It gets warm, and you're just like, ah, all right, time to get the dirt bikes out or fun warm stuff. Mm-hmm. We'll mm-hmm. see what happens. Huh? Well, that's good. Hopefully, uh, it'll dry up quick and get to work. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Brady's chomping at the bit to get to work. Probably probably this next week, I would say. Well, you should get that ZRT ready so you can actually race it next year. Oh yeah, it'll be ready. It's in the work. It's in the work area right now. We're planning on working on it a little bit here, trying to get. To- Did you figure out any new workouts you can do so your arms don't get tired? Or- uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the one to crash at the zoo. Or, yeah. you were tired. <laughs> oh, it's because I, I my tongue went underneath the track and it drug me off the side of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, hap- much, what happened much. there actually though like watching that crash it was just kind of a, a really uncharacteristic crash for, for us yeah i mean i don't know the sioux we kind of like the town brothers they were good and everything like we had pretty good setup sled wise but then for some reason they were struggling with speed on their sleds this year and i brought my um lake sled just in case like and i wanted to do the woody's race just because i hadn't been there for a while and i wanted to get comfortable on the track and so on and so forth. But then, so we were struggling with speed and we couldn't, we were throwing all the stuff we could at it for speed and like make it the same as mine and yada yada. And it was just like seven mile an hour slower than mine <laughs> or even like anyone else's. Like it was ridiculous. So then I signed my sled up like the right before the last qualifier and just kind of went out there. And I think, I don't know what, it was like a 15th or something that I did. And um, so then we, and my sled was good on speed. So then we switched all my, all their sled up to my sled and like rebuilt the sled, yada, yada. Um, everyone else kind of does that anyways, but it's, um, and then we hadn't rode the setup we put in the sled yet. And they, they kind of run those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like in between a, um, comp bar and a round bar. I think they're modified or something. Yeah. Like a hybrid bar. Yeah. I think yeah. they call them. Yeah. Hybrid. Yeah. Yep. So we had put those on those and I had sc- never ridden, those yeah, are sketchy. Like, yeah, so I had never ridden with those anyways. And, like, then they they had before, and they kind of said, oh, yeah, it should be good. And we just had less studs in, yada, yada. And I, I started the race, and then I was going around there, and it was kind of like it was edge, like it was on the edge of being too loose in the back for sure. Like, and there was a couple times going through the corners, like, because at first we started, and then, like, I was like, oh, no, this thing's kind of dirty, yada, yada. And I kind of just got used to it. But then, I was pretty tentative and hesitant at the beginning anyways. And like people were past me and like even her, I don't know where he started, but he came past me and I'm just like, Oh no, like this is not good. And like, <laughs> so I followed her around for a little bit, like five or six laps and got going again. And then 
started moving forward, but like the, with that little studs and then that much carbide in the front, it was like borderline that like you could slide it through the corner, but then like you couldn't get this, the skid to come back underneath you, you know, like even if you're wide open, it would just want to keep spinning and sliding because your skis were overpowering you. And then, I mean, I almost did that probably like five different times. And then the one time it just finally, <laughs> it was just stupid. And then I fell right on my wrist, which is what messed my wrist up. And then, uh, we went to round bars and it was fine. And then they rode for a while. And then like, I went back out on it at the, right before we had the other issues, but then I just taped my wrist up with like duct tape and stuff and made it so it wouldn't move really. And then, um, we were moving forward again, like doing good. Um, and then the cooler cracked on it. So it was kind of like a weird, where it cracked. I've never seen one crack like that, but I guess some of the snow crash guys have cracked them like, I've talked to the um, Skidoo guys and they said, I don't know if it's because of rigidity or whatever, or the ice does weird things to snowmobiles anyways. But mm-hmm. um, I think it was kind of a combination of both and it just kind of a freak deal. And that's what took us out of there. And, um, I mean, we had a good snowmobile. Was, I mean, drove front, drove to the front pretty good when yeah. I was on it. And yeah. From like the you... town brothers. Yeah. They were, I mean, we were doing good and they were, the town brothers were riding good and, um, for throwing a setup in it that we had never rolled or like suspension or anything, it was pretty good. I just, the, the modified deal there, that's kind of what put me in. And I should have known better. And I just didn't, I don't know. It's stupid, stupidity on my part. But, yeah. I don't, I don't like those yeah. hybrid bars. Like, no, just, uh, they're too, they're too aggressive and darty for me. Just I like, yeah. I mean, they're pretty much like a comp bar. I think, yep. I mean, maybe not a full on, but they're pretty close. I, I would never run them again, especially on the ice. Like, I, I know you like your sled like mine, where like I might, I want to be able to go down a straightaway wide open, one handed, and not even be worried about it. So yeah, um, yeah. That way, so it's kind of one of those things. I, I knew better, but I didn't do what I should have. So Woody's round bar, whatever. perfect. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I mean, that's, nothing wrong with no. it. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, why that's, try to go more aggressive with it? <laughs> That, I went to a, my first ever ice race. I never rode on the ice before that. And I put them on before and like Deardall was there helping me a little bit. And like, I put comp bars on there. I couldn't, after three laps, I couldn't even feel my arms. Like <laughs> I was, it was ridiculous. And like, everyone's like, Oh, your sled looks like your handle's good. I'm like, I don't know how the pros ride them for 10 laps. Like, <laughs> like, they, like what's going on? Like, what am I doing wrong then? Or something? I don't know. It was crazy. And Kirk and them used to run them. That's as, living at Kirk's house at the time. And he's like, I'm like, Kirk, what do I do to set my snowmobile up for uh, ice race? And he's like, Oh, you need sharpen studs, lower it, this, that big sway bar, comp bars. He's like, I got some comp bars from when I used to race. I'm like, okay. So then I put like those on and stuff. And he's, I didn't, I never went and practiced or nothing. I it was nah. just like, <laughs> I was just wild. I, I remember going down the, there's like a long, it was a Detroit lakes. And I went down this long straightaway. And I remember like halfway down the straightaway, I was letting off and I'm like, how long do these guys hold these things wide open for? It's going to blow up or something. This is stupid. <laughs> it is wild. I, I never, it is pretty funny. I, then I didn't have anyone helping me there. I had my. Uh, was that when you had your big semi? Yeah. So I had that. And then I had never been to a cross. I never even watched a cross country race before that. Cause I was always racing snow cross. I'm like, just never had the time or whatever, you know, and I never took the time, but we, and, uh, me and my girlfriend that I had at the time, we went to the race and I didn't have anyone else helping me there or nothing. And Deard all came to my trailer and I put my shocks in right before the hot laps and everything. And I rode, I parked on the parking lot <laughs> and I rode my snowmobile across the asphalt to the ice. Like no oh ski skin God. or nothing. <laughs> and like, and Deard all was like, he like shaking his head and his hand up in there. And I'm like, what? Like, did I miss practice or something? And he's like, what are you doing? You, <laughs> like, he just starts cussing at me. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you're an idiot. Yeah. You can't ride across the asphalt. I'm like, whoa, okay. He's like, we do it on our snow crash. And he's like, God. And then I like, guess it's funny. I don't know. But then, didn't know what I was doing. It's pretty funny. But I enjoy the ice more than anything now. I, I think that's, I mean, it's technical. I, or I like the, uh, point to point races, but uh, I think the ice is a, uh, like cornering and stuff coming into play more, you know, where mm-hmm. I don't know, the ski hill past countries, I don't really like them as much anymore because my body just doesn't enjoy it. And then, uh, 
but the ice racing is fun. Like, and it's especially like this year at Pine Lake, I mean, I had sled problems, but it's fun because you can, the track's so wide that you can actually pass and like make different lines and stuff where when it's not plowed, it kind of, it's not as much fun, but when it's plowed wide and like smooth, I, I think, I don't think there's any kind of better racing for watching either. No, uh, no. And I know you guys enjoy it too, but it's like, it's fun. I, cause you can actually pass people and like, it comes down to the wire where down the ditch. I mean, everyone usually, I mean, there's very few people that'll go down the ditch, like point to point races wide open. I mean, usually within the first 10 minutes, unless someone has a problem or something, you kind of know who's going to win. But, uh, or, I mean, there's been some races like Zach and I or Aaron and, um, we've been close the whole time or at the end or whatever, but it's, uh, at least I know back in the day they probably were closer to when there was a lot more people and Kirk and all them guys were racing, but yeah. So it's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I like ice racing. So hopefully looks like they're going to have a bunch of ice races next year. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. It looks like it. And then there was a lot of people that were kind of mad about it. I read in the comments, yeah. but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shit out in new England is it going to be mostly ice races too. Oh really? Yeah. It looked like a lot of them. Yeah. So yeah. yeah I mean, I think it's hard because if they plan on doing some ditch races and they don't have them and then they, they're back to scrambling like they were this year, which I think if, Todd is not able to have races next year. It'll be bad for the circuit just because mm-hmm. he needs to keep it going. And that's what he's doing for a job and everything. So yeah, uh, if he plans on ice races and has a complete year, then that'll be good to get everything going and good and good and everything. So, um, I mean, he's doing it for the sport too, but hopefully we'll be able to have some snow and do the 500. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I, I enjoy that race too, obviously, but. Yeah, yeah, that's always a big race. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I like the, like I said, I like the point to point races, but I don't know if you guys do or not. But uh, no, you know me, Wes. I'm a ice guy. I just, <laughs> I'd say probably Park Rapids is my favorite. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah, Park. Yeah, Park Rapids is fun if you don't end up in the trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or, or or go the wrong right, wrong way, right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you drive over some asphalt, go the wrong way, you know, shit happens. Get, it can't fix stupid, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, that's that's a fun race too. I, I don't know. I don't. I like those kind of. Race. I think those are more like cross country used to be at, like distance to distance, and it's hard nowadays. I think with all the regulations of. Yeah, everyone's weird about land and then getting sued or all that kind of stuff too. But um, so I don't know. Hopefully they can keep doing that kind of stuff though. Yeah, it's getting really hard for them to get permits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'd be. I wish they could do races out west here. I kind of. There's always snow out here, but it's hard. I think it'd be hard to get people to travel out here too. I don't know. Be. It's pretty fun out here because it get rough and up and down hills and all. They had some a couple handful of years ago. A guy was putting some races on out here, and they were pretty fun because you're like rallying through the trees and up and down hills and mm. you know it's, you can see people more than once and uh, it's pretty fun but I think the forest service out here is kind of hard to deal with too. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah there's always something like that I bet <laughs> yeah 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 the lefties they ain't hard to deal with <laughs> <laughs> are you planning on coming uh, back to Minnesota at all uh, Wes to like wrap up your yeah. snowmobile stuff or yeah, probably. I don't know. I might come this next week or something or next weekend because we're not going to have any races. I got some stuff I need to take care of with the house in Denver. And then um, kind of, I mean, I think this weather is going to be crappy out here. So I kind of, I need, I have a skid steer and stuff I need to come out there and pick up. And then just kind of make some plans with the team and talk to Dwight and everyone and um, kind of figure out our next year's plans. And I don't know for sure what's going to happen next year with everything. I, I mean, I'll, I think if I want to race full time, I can. I kind of thought about maybe throwing around some ideas of maybe pulling back a little bit, but I think if you do that, then you kind of screw yourself with the other races too. So mm-hmm. kind of just see. I, I need to get my wrist healed up a little more and make sure my body's good. And uh, it's just kind of frustrating when you hurt, but um, not making any money, <laughs> which I'm not. <laughs> I know it's not all about money, but you got to be able to live too, you know. Yeah, you so, got to be able to afford uh, racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you got to, you can't put everything else on hold. But I'm kind of getting to that age too where it's like, I don't know, you don't want to do it till you're 
get hurt real bad or something either. Like, yeah. And they, but it's, I'd say Roger Skyam and all those guys have always, always said like, it's an addiction, you know, it's like, uh, it's like everyone else, everyone else that does different stuff for addictions. It's like our drug is racing. And, um, it's probably one of the hardest things to say that you can't do it anymore. I think probably. Yeah. You, so. you and you and AC and Tate will be racing 40 plus yeah. here in a few years yeah. and then 50 yeah. plus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shit, Tate's gonna be in a wheelchair before long. <laughs> <laughs> no, Still and I know AC. Enough. He's kind of yeah. He's uh, I don't know. And AC, like he came out in Mountain Road with me. Uh, it's both in between your guys' NATO wash races. We went and rode a little bit in the mountains, and um, I was gonna, I was kind of planning on maybe coming to NATO wash, but then I went into like a river thing, and but I was talking to him, and like it's like he's kind of at the same point too. It's like, well, you want to race, but at the same time, it's like, well, is it time to be done or pull back or, but he's obviously fast. It's, I mean, killed everyone at the Sioux there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I think, I mean, I know players wants him to keep racing like the Sioux and stuff and like the 500 because he's one of their main guys there. Like, and the other guys are fast, but AC's the weapon on the, especially at the Sioux. So yeah, uh, they'd be crazy to not, I'd, if I was the players, guys, I'd be throwing it whatever they wanted at him, pretty much. <laughs> but so, but we'll see what happens. I, but yeah, I think I'll, I don't know, maybe come out there and then uh, get some stuff and just drive some miles, put some miles on the truck and burn some diesel. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Heck yeah, we'll yeah. If, you, if if we get you to Minnesota here, Wes, we gotta get you to come in here and tell the the West Selby career story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, I could do that and have some fun talking about stuff and yeah uh, he, Wes, Wes has got some stories yeah i want to get sure. into this this mopar collection <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and then he's got Come a on. Pretty, pretty good gun collection too brody oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of everything here yeah shit yeah yeah we have some fun that's for sure i <laughs> nice. i got too many too many toys i love the mopars though that come out here we'll burn some tires off that's oh, for yeah. sure <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be a blast <laughs> no that's i like that kind of stuff i think everyone does but um, you guys are more than welcome anytime too. That's for sure. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Wes has invited me yeah. out there a few times. It's just like, God damn it, I should go out there. Yeah, God. yeah. We, oh, could do a, we could do a hair scramble out there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like the single track. If you guys ever want to come single track riding, there's so gnarly single track riding around. And we build like single track tracks by my buddy's place, and uh, it's fun. Like the burn area is cool because like the when that burn happened, it burned all like the pine needles and vegetation and everything off the ground. So like, and all the dead trees and stuff, obviously too, but like, so you can go like up and down ravines and hills and all pretty much anywhere you want to go. Like it's fun. Like I've, I thought it was going to kind of suck after that, but now it, it, the, the trees are kind of going back up. So they're over. You kind of got to depend on where you go, but the, it's fun. Motorcycle riding is fun out here. And there's tons of tracks in Denver, like, I always tell people, I'm like, just come for a week and then you'll have fun, like, ride motocross tracks that they prep and then, uh, like, the national track and stuff and then do some enduro riding and mountain biking. And, um, it's lots to do out here, that's for sure. It's mm-hmm. Yeah, kinda, sounds like it. Yeah, that would be a big Yeah, I mean, it's, what elevation, it's always hard. What elevation do you live at, Wes? Like, where, what? Uh, so oh. my house is 8,600 feet. It was always the same as X Games. That's why we always tested there. And then, uh, so 8,600 feet. And then like the other day we were riding, I think it was like 11,800 feet. Wow. So, <laughs> like, do you think that's, you don't ride. can you feel the, the advantage of that? Like when you come to Minnesota here that like your, your lungs are just used oh, to that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's hard cause it takes a while. To, like, but after, especially when I was younger and we would come back there for racing in the winter and we'd come back home for the week. So you're only there in Minnesota or whatever for two or three days. And like, I honestly, like I wouldn't even be hardly breathing hard racing snow class in certain classes and like these other kids and stuff or younger guys, they're look like they're smoking a pack of Marlboros, you know, <laughs> like it's like, <laughs> it's just, and it, and if you come from Minnesota, like whenever I'm out there for a while and come mountain riding out here and you get stuck or something, you're just like, Oh, it's not good. Like you can't breathe. You like take your, you get stuck and you take, take your helmet off and you're just like, almost in panic mode trying to get your ball clava thing off like it's not good I, <laughs> it was funny we brought uh i brought jesse out here this this winter for like i can't remember when it was but they canceled a race and i told jesse i'm like 
I'm going riding out west. You might as well just come with me and ride Stone Bill. And it, he came out and like, even he's like, oh, I can't breathe out here. This and that. He's <laughs> good shape. Like, and he's a young kid. Like, for a young kid to say that, it's pretty funny. And then, obviously, he can ride a snowmobile decent. Like, but like, it's funny to bring people out and they have never ridden in the mountains. It's just like they never rode a snowmobile in their life. It's kind of entertaining. But oh yeah, I uh, yeah, I wouldn't know what yeah. to do in the mountains no, on a like, snowmobile. Hell no. Wow. No, and it's like you, I take it easy on, or a lot of us will take it easy on people. But like, if I wanted, you could just hate life in about two <laughs> seconds. But it's, uh, but you don't want to ruin it for people because it is a lot of fun. But uh, well, yeah, it's that's pretty why funny. You, you had AC out there in between NATO washes on the West Selby training program, digging sleds on yeah. creeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was not good. <laughs> Got lucky on that though. But it was pretty. It was fun. We had a fun. I I wish. It's hard because AC lives up in Canada and you never get to hang out with him except for race season. And then you're just like racing and then he heads back. So he's got his own business and family to be there with. So it's like through the winters, you don't get to spend much time with those guys Mm -hmm. like that or even Tate or anyone or Zach nowadays. And it's fun when you can hang out with someone for like four or five days and just uh, like the thing. You have so much in common and everything and it's just enjoyable, you know. So it's, I wish you could do that more often, but. It's hard because everyone's got their own life too, but uh, it's pretty fun. I, I enjoyed having AC out for a little bit. Didn't get in too much trouble, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> could have, could have, definitely could turn bad sometimes, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, so it is fun. But, uh, right on. Uh, no, I'll, like I said, I'll be coming out. If I come out this next week or something, I'll hit you guys up and come hang out with you guys for a bit and do that. And, um, been good i always enjoy your guys little podcast deal that you're doing i think it's cool and like the fantasy changes and stuff i i don't think i ever do any good on that but no I I've, I've seen your entries though <laughs> i seen your plan <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're participating <laughs> one day i'm gonna win and you're gonna have to say my name so yeah. <laughs> let that be awesome yeah <laughs> i'm gonna set it up if i have to pay people i'll do it <laughs> that's why you're so good at you know cross country racing you pay everybody off <laughs> uh, that ain't the i wish that was the case yeah oh yeah no. i would have paid i would pay taylor the whole the whole amount to oh, yeah. let me get that win this year <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah uh, one check just let me win yeah, yeah put my name on yeah. a trophy please <laughs> yeah uh, you'll, you'll get her one of these days you're close that's for sure yeah yeah so, Gas stops. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's a hard race to one win. One little right? mistake here and there. Yeah. That's all it is. That, that race and like the 500, there's a handful of them like that. It's just like hard to win. I i don't understand it. That's like, I think those, the 500 in Pine Lake, like the mods that I obviously did good there are many a times, but the stock class, like, I should have, Kind of like you, Gunner. I should have won that one a handful of times and they haven't won it once. So yeah, yep. Like there's there's a lot of luck that goes into it. Like you're like even at the Sioux, you know, too. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, the Sioux's the Sioux's a wild one. Like I don't that one. I I don't know if I ever figured it out. But. <laughs> yeah, it's 500 miles. How are you supposed to figure anything out? Like yeah, it's such I an don't animal. Know. That one will make you hate life, that's for sure. <laughs> I've seen it just leave there, and you're just like, what am I doing this for? Yeah. But, yeah. It's been the last three years leaving there like that for me. It's like, oh, man, yeah. flip of a coin. <laughs> yeah, like you go and qualify good, and then you're going good at the beginning, and then it's like the wheels come off the bus. But yeah. it's uh, that's what keeps you going back, though, that's for sure. Yeah. So, uh, heck, but, yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting right. us call you, Wes. We yeah, really shit, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Nope. No problem. You guys have a good rest of the week, and we'll talk soon. All right. Talk Sounds to you later, We'll see you. Right. See ya. Right. See ya. Jeez, 40 minutes with Wes. Yeah. yeah. Not yes. bad. That was great. Yeah. I mean, coming off the track and giving us a call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, thought, that was wild. Looking at, I don't, I don't know if he actually was coming off the track. Like, I was looking at, like, the race order and whatnot. I was like, oh, he should be done mm. within this time period. Mm. But I don't know. It had been an hour or so before since I'd watched it. Maybe they got... Maybe it ran long, but well, huh. it sounds like it. Forty entries in one class. That's well, like that wasn't today though. Yeah, that was yeah. today was just finals and mm-hmm. whatnot. So, uh, no, super cool. Wes was yeah. Wes was one of the guys when we first got to RD Cat. That was when he was like just kind of working out of the race shop and everything mm-hmm. up there. 
And he helped me and dad out so much mm-hmm. to where like, I'll always thank Wes for that, just for helping a fat semi-pro kid. Because, <laughs> 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 what? yeah, Wes, Wes has got some stories. He's he's pretty cool. Yeah, he seems pretty damn cool. So that was, him and, him and Brian got some pretty good good stories together. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're pretty good buddies. Um, no, yeah, that was a cool phone call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah was and I wasn't one. even expecting it to be that long, too. No. And so, yeah, that was good. Really good. Um, so, yeah, we got VS3 suspension coming up here with Vince. Again? Um, Do we have tech questions today? Uh, let me look here. God, we got to grease these arms here, Brody. Yeah, here. we keep forgetting to do that. Yeah. I'll do it after. We got some WD up there. You know what? Uh, Power steering stop leak. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that might work. That shit works. You know what good. the WD stands for in WD40? Yeah, I did, but. You did? Uh, yeah, I forgot. No. Uh, water displacement? Yeah, water displacement. And yeah, 40th try? Yeah, on the 40th try. Mm-hmm. That's when they got it. That's what it is. So, what? yeah, what's JV80 then? I have no idea what that is. No, I just know <laughs> WD40. JV80 is fucking better. <laughs> oh, I, I said a bad word. So? Hey, you've been pretty good about it. So we got to start doing like Pat McAfee, and then whenever somebody says bad word, that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the football guy? Yeah. We'll have a swear jar right here on the table. Yeah. And we'll like, we're not having a damn swear jar. <laughs> we're, all, we're, all, we're all adults here. Come on. Well, there's kids watching, though. They hear music with swear words <laughs> in them. Uh, okay, just to get in a few questions here before we give Vince a call. I'll just run down the order because we didn't get very many this time. Mm. Last time we were just bombarded with mm-hmm. questions. So the Carbide Podcast, Spencer's episode did really good. Cool. So, yeah, thanks, Spencer, again for that. Yeah. Last weekend. That was last weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a good one. Yep. Uh, ask Jesse why he jumped under the yellow in sport light class. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't really sound sounded like he jumped. He just no, he didn't. Like he just like I was I was watching it and like uh, I think Nate and even uh, Ryan Spencer messaged me about it. Like what happened to Jesse? And like I just caught it a little bit that that the yellows were out and he kind of just leapfrogged to the next bump. And sure enough, that's what it was. Like a jump should like be like a double or like your like, whole sled gets off the ground. Like but sh- doing it like that with the yellow flags, it almost should be just like. Continue going, but go with caution, Mm -hmm. almost. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, they jump with yellows in Supercross. Mm -hmm. It's not until the the red cross flag comes out to where Mm -hmm. you can't, you got to roll. Yeah, they should do something like that. That's a better plan. Yeah. Uh, Sam Roeder, here's a fan question for you, Kyle. Mm. Fan sleds? Oh, yeah. 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 Thoughts on fan-cooled sleds, specifically the old 570 fan from Cat. Personally, I think it needs to come back. So, I was... My first sled was an XCF 440 fan, mm-hmm. and I don't know, it ran ran good every day. Yeah, you shit-bombed yeah. the ditches all day with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the 570 was made up till recent years. Yeah, it was. Like, yep. you know, like Bearcats and crap had them in it. Yep. You know? I think even uh, one of the Yamaha sleds has a 570 fan in it. Yeah. It's like one well, of the... You look at the Bravo, and the Bravo was made up until, like, 2011 or something like that. 2014. Yeah. Yep. And that was a leaf spring. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. They were, 2011, they're still making leaf spring. Yeah, sleds? Yamaha Bravo. What? Like it's, uh, I had no idea. Yamaha, yeah, Yamaha's fan sled. It's like a VLK 540 or something or Viking something or another, but weird. It, dad said like the <laughs> green jacket, gold jacket, who gives a <laughs> shit? <laughs> dad said the fan class back in the day, like late late 90s, early 2000s was like super competitive. I'd say that's, that, that's a cool thing to do instead of having like pro, semi-pro, have a liquid in a fan yeah. class, you know? Like they could have easily done that with that 500 class. Yeah, where it right. Could, it could have been like a Pro 500 or yep. something like that. And that's pretty much what Expert 85 was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. There was a lot of those guys that were fast in that class. I think that class would be a blast because you're mm-hmm. all limited to the same, pretty much same horsepower, mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, you're not going down the down the ditch at mock death. Yeah. yeah. Mock death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm holding it wide open. It's going to 85. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yep. Dumb it down a little bit, and then it's more rider than machine. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no, I like fan sleds personally. Yeah. I don't have many of them. Maybe there's one in our collection, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Well, yeah, we don't have ours anymore. We no. sold it to our cousin Thad mm-hmm. yep, a so couple years ago. So yeah, he still got it though. Um, uh, Christopher Cookingham, when are we getting more ALR? Mm. Well, ALR needs to sponsor Shop Talk Podcast by buying us a set of triple pipes and <laughs> and make posters. <laughs> The fat right. heads? Yeah, <laughs> fat head. I need a fat head. <laughs> and then what else? Do I, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, we're ALR. in the ALR merch right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's, work, he's working on that Skidoo build, though, it looks like. Yeah, it looks sweet. It's going to be, that thing is going to be interesting. Like, those are not my f- most favorite looking sleds almost. They're fast. But it just looks like a big tub. Yeah. A big, a big, big bath tub or what? <laughs> yeah, the belly fans do. They're just... <laughs> Just a like big a, boat, a half an oval, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty much. But I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure once he's done with it, it'll look sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Gen Two is kind of that way, just a half an oval. Nah, uh, they're kind of sharp. They are sharp. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vady Racing. Have you ever raced along some s- alongside someone who has plates and screws in their body from a previous injury? If so, did they choose to keep the hardware in the body or did they <laughs> undergo a second surgery to have it removed? <laughs> that's a, that's <laughs> a hell of a question. Johnny Killian's full of metal and he's racing. Even, uh, uh, yeah, Jesse Hallstrom's buddy Ashton, who I was riding dirt bike up with Brooks, broke his l- leg up there, I think, last year. Yeah. So he's got titanium rods and screws yeah. in his leg. I think, I think Donnie left a bunch of that metal in him. Yeah. Didn't get it taken out. <laughs> yeah. You can. You can just leave it in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like even uh, Cody Shock, the dirt bike racer, mm. broke his collarbone two weeks ago. Yeah. Had it plated on Monday, was back <laughs> racing on Saturday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. That's gnarly. Yeah. Collarbones like, are the weirdest bone in the body. Yeah. There are so many memes of him being like the Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Con- Conor McGregor. He's got titanium in his leg. Yeah. Mm. If any, yeah, it'd be titanium or mm-hmm. carbon fiber I'd put in there. Carbon fiber would be cool. Yeah. But what if it blew up? What did? Carbon fiber. You think it would? I don't think so. Don't what know. do you mean blow up? Just from like breaking? Yeah. Like carbon snapping? When it breaks, it shatters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Mark, True. Mark Maybe Thor- not. Mark Thorson, what exactly is the difference between 600 stock and 600 mod? Porting, pipes. More horsepower. High, like, higher compression. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Yeah, like s- stock is stock. So pro open pipes, porting, polishing, cutting the head a little bit, mm-hmm. higher compression, race gas. That's one thing I think Chad's going to test next year It's t- for pro stock. Fuel. Test gas again. I mm-hmm. uh, can't remember last time they checked no, octane. I don't, yeah, I've so never. when they're doing their teardowns at the end of the day, are they checking compression? That I don't know. Or just boring stroke. Yeah, that'd be a good test. Compression test. You could easily do a compression test. It'd be easier than a boring stroke. Yeah, I wonder. Well, we're, we'll we'll get Chad in here. Yeah, we'll get yeah. Chad in here. We'll we'll but get, we'll get mean, questions on. Really, it's just yeah. It it does make a difference, but you wouldn't think it would make huge difference. Well, what's the difference? Cheating a little bit or cheating a lot? Yeah, I'm still cheating. <laughs> It's cool to cheat, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to ride the line of cheating, <laughs> but to just flat out cheat, eh, it's not but that yeah. cool. But yeah, I'd say mod, yeah, porting, polishing, pipes, fuel, one inch track. Yeah, one inch track. A lighter track does does wonders. Mm-hmm. That's like, yeah, so the, the mod is just making more power out of the same sled and going faster. And making it lighter. Yeah, yeah making yeah. it lighter. Yeah. Which makes it go faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. And then a few shock questions for Vince. Cool. Actually got some tech stuff for him. Okay. I think the people like when Vince actually answers <laughs> tech questions <laughs> and he's just not. So here's a good one. So would you prefer um, a fuel injected modified or a carbureted modified? Um, that'd be tough. That'd be, I'd need some. Some definitely some R and D on it. it. I mean, it'd be a lot. M- it costs a lot more to go fuel injection. Yeah, because then you'd have to start, you know, getting all your data loggers and yep. everything. And that, I mean, you could e- very very easily go way backwards too. Yeah, with fuel injection. Yep. 
Yeah, that'd be a tough one. I mean, the fuel injection is easier almost. Yeah, but it's easier to go backwards, yeah. I think. Well, I mean, like you can get lost so much mm-hmm. on, on that computer to yeah. where if you don't know what you're doing, you well, don't know. You're factoring like 10 different things and trying to get them all like exactly perfect. Yeah. You know, and then like if one of them things falls on his face, it'll cut it. Yeah. Like, Put it in limp mode. I mean, like even uh, like at NATO Ash, uh, watching Bunky's vlog, mm-hmm. they were doing e- EFI tuning on that single pipe mod, mm-hmm. and they got it. They went too too lean on it and mm-hmm. blew it up there on week week one. Mm-hmm. So it's not foolproof. So no. it's, it well, it's definitely a lifelong question whether you want to get all this like data and crap on it, or do you want to do it by RPM plug read? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Simplicity. Yeah, and then just have an EGT. Mm. Something to think about. I don't know. Did you see all the wires and stuff Austin Leak's going to have on his yeah. skidoo? Yeah, that's a cool data that's, logger. That's a lot of data. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do with all that data, Austin? Perfect every little bit of it. <laughs> but, yeah, to, on how much stuff is done on the computer nowadays, it's unreal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when it used to be, you know. All these little Japanese guys, you know, uh, hello. playing with their little two strokes. <laughs> what's, what's this about Japanese and two strokes? Because I'm in. They go hand in hand. With You're not wrong. Vince, YZ250, you, best bike ever made. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to build a mod sled, would you go carbureted or EFI? Um, probably an EFI one. Really? Yeah. It's certainly a thinker, though. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you're like you're you're definitely going to have a lot more work to do with fuel injection. Yeah, but my hands won't be as cold. True. <laughs> yeah, true. That's very true. <laughs> uh, Vince. <laughs> Brody, play, it's me. Play this drop. Trees are berms that don't move, Gunner. <laughs> we, we clipped Perfect. it. We clipped it. <laughs> Gunner's so proud that he figured out how to do that now. Yeah. He came running over today when he got oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You came running in with the board. I got new drops. Yeah, like, what, do you, what do you mean you got new drops of what? <laughs> Turn on your computer. Now that she's back in the atmosphere. We got one more, too. Uh, Spencer, Spencer actually texted me that one, like, laughing face. So mm. I didn't even catch it when I listened to it back. I think I remember him saying that. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I'm <laughs> such a douchebag now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's when he was talking about road bikes or something, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. So, Vince, we're going to get the audio turned up for you here the, uh, for this episode. You'll <laughs> So, you'll have to let me know how it is in your van. All right, good. So, good. let me let me know. Vince, what kind of van do you have? The Big white one? only kind of van. No. Sh- Chevy Express? A, I used to. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Like, what are you going to get a van for? He's got a kid, man. A kid? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It holds dirt bikes. Yeah. Not what do you do Come with on. the van? You you make it sweet. You make it sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so you build a wall, keep the Mexicans out. Yep. And then you put dirt bikes in the back. Yep. Put little uh, put a little racks for all your chickens and stuff like that. <laughs> No. Everyone I've seen for <laughs> sale have racks on the wall. And it's like chickens could go on there. <laughs> Pretty, <laughs> the they look like chicken racks or whatever. Yeah, they're called the tool shelving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vince. The first one I bought had all that stuff in it, and that was the probably the noisiest drive of my life. And I threw it all away the next day. <laughs> Just so that one was cool. Right. It had the little contractor windows, and they were electronic locking, so you could open up like the side windows with the push of a button. Oh, that's sweet. I was, you know, Which I just want a full a panel van. An accident. Full panel van, and then I'll put a U.S. General toolbox in it. Hopefully the drawers <laughs> don't open up when I'm driving down the road. Yeah, like our work van. Yeah. Paint it like the General Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was really thinking about that. Like, I've sent you guys a couple of vans that have cool paint on them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, <laughs> we could build a pretty sweet race rig. Oh, yeah. That's the only life. Vince, van, is, van Vince is all about van life. Then I could never get yeah. a gooseneck trailer, though. Ever since I've known him. Don't need it. You got a van. <laughs> exactly. If a van and you're not, a... You're not hearing yourself here. <laughs> a, a van and a and a, a tractor supply uh, little single-place trailer. That's all, that's all a guy needs. Heck yeah. Yeah. Right. Racing pro open. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Vince. Uh, got a tech question. Few two tech two tech questions for you here. Oh um, boy. First one from uh, Joe Kuknicki, the guy who we actually bought the ZRT from. Mm. Uh, are Olin shocks from mid '90s superior to others, and what made them so special and expensive? Like, um, like because Yamahas came out with the gold Olins, mm-hmm. and that was kind of a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, like, is it? Are they worth it? Um, I think they definitely were. Like, I feel like they had, like, better tolerances and stuff like that back then. Because, like, even now, like, you, you know, you buy, like, a, a 90s sled with, like, a, a fox on it, and they're they're generally pretty ratty. Yep. And you got to go through them where I feel like those ones you didn't have to as much. Like, they'll still get rusty from steel bodies, but I think maybe the quality was just a little bit better, but I don't know. But now, like... I didn't really have any of the older Olin stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> No, I think my first ones are on my RX one. Oh, but yeah, it does. It does. Uh, it does add to it a little bit when you <clears throat> when you do see an older Yamaha with Olin's shocks on it. Yeah, they they sell for a lot of money, especially if they're nice ones. <clears throat> like I think David Fisher has been buying a bunch of them. Huh. And like seven hundred and fifty thousand bucks a set for those fronts and things like that. That's oh, crazy. Wow. Shit, they do look. They cool, made some though. pretty cool ones for a VMAX four. Oh, I did some, some uh, yeah. Well, the, yeah, so they did that, but they the rear ones that they made were anodized blue. That's, That's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, they look pretty pretty sweet. My dad actually had a set of those, and he's VMAX for. So, huh? So that was number one. So yeah, I thought I thought that was interesting because I never like why Olin's was if they were superior in at that time period or not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Polly V, I forgot Polly V sent us some fan mail and a sticker for the table. Oh, oh some bitch. I forgot to grab it today. <laughs> so, uh, he said pros and cons, uh, if Fox float or if, or I F S no, if Fox <laughs> floats versus Fox coilovers for terrain racing, what's your, what's your opinion on one or the other Vince? Um, they definitely both have advantages and disadvantages like you're going to be able to get a lot more comfort out of the coil shock um but i feel like you won't be able to have like as much like obviously without changing springs and things like that you don't have as much uh readily available adjustment where like the the floats and all that you can kind of run them softer but change some stuff with air pressures so they don't bottom out so kind of depends on the race like like some years, like when the I five hundred is like really just fast choppy stuff. I think I'd rather have a coil shock. But like you go to like War Road or like those races where it's like really rough, like Niswa or something like that. Like then I'd probably want to float just to keep the thing off the ground a little more. Hmm. Hmm. Well, like I would say, would you say for like just the average everyday racer, like what would he what would he benefit from the most? Like just having a good coil over setup or yeah just have yeah i think they're a good coil really oh okay yeah just for don't you know the maintenance stuff isn't there is it you, you pretty much you have to go through a float just a little more often with the air sleeve and things like that huh. just to keep them working like that like uh like optimal i guess but uh, so then, since I've been diving down this quad rabbit hole, why do a lot of quad guys run <laughs> floats on the front instead of like coilovers? I've wondered that too. Um, it's again, it's just the adjustability, and they they are quite a bit lighter, especially for the quad stuff. Because like when you go to a coilover, you're generally running at least a dual rate. And most guys are running a triple rate spring. Mm. Like, so like literally three separate springs, two tenders and a main, and then all the other hardware that's associated with that. And it's not as easy to adjust. And for a lot of guys, it's not as easy of a concept to grasp. <laughs> um, just, well, just all the different things you can change with the crossovers and springs and all that and how it all works. Yep. Where the, the float stuff, you just, you know, change your air pressure and that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. And the, they aren't going through as much of a like temperature change. Oh, sure. 
so especially on those things because they, they really aren't valved all that heavy for those things so you'd, you'd set the pressure and it, it might only go up like two or three psi where like the snowmobile ones like if you if it's really choppy and stuff like that like they'll they'll build a little bit of heat and then your your pressure will go up quite a bit more hmm. so i don't know interesting the only part that sucks with the floats in the dirt though is like you wreck air sleeves and bodies and stuff like that quite a bit from all the roost oh mm-hmm. sure hmm. so i generally try to run the thickest stickers i can to protect yeah. it from that <laughs> <laughs> It looked like your your ATV guy Hunter Hart. It, he had some kind of mal- malfunction this weekend at GNCC. Yeah, he. I think uh, Mark texted me. He said he like snapped a steering post like a mile in. Oh jeez! Wow, so <laughs> unlucky. He said he didn't hit anything, but he's not sure if he believes him or not. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Walker and Josh did pretty good. So yeah, yeah. Bryson Neal is putting a clinic on here. A few the last couple that I've paid attention to. Yeah. The last two years now. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Ever since Walker, he kind of, didn't he have a, he had a pretty good injury, I think, didn't he? Yeah. He broke his back last year. Yeah. Oof, yeah. yeah. Wow. So yeah. He was in a back race for a while. What, mm. uh, what about this new guy in this KTM, the dirt bike, the Johnny, uh, wow. Gerard or, or something. The XC1 KTM guy for dirt biking. Oh, okay. What's what's his what's his name? Is um, he doing good? Like, what, yeah, why are you bringing yeah, him he's up? He's doing really okay. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Gerar. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, Ger- I, yeah Johnny Gerar. Yeah, I, so many guys swapped around teams and stuff last year. I can't even remember who's where. Yeah, like so. where'd this guy come from? I'd never even seen right. seen his name in like XC two or anything. And now he he had won like the last couple GNCC, but but now I see he didn't yeah. he didn't win today though. Oh, he didn't. No, oh. Dan, Dan Dante Oliver Oliveira. Oh, okay. One Dante um, Oliveira or whatever. Yeah, Grant Baylor third. Yeah, yeah. So. Huh. Well, yeah, I was just seeing if you had any inf- information on that guy because it was like, where the heck did this guy come from? Mm-hmm. Just smoking everybody in XC1. Yeah, yeah. No, not really. I haven't gotten really to pay attention too closely to it this year yet. But huh. Well, we had uh, we had Wes Selby on right before the events. Oh God! Talking that's about uh, idiot. <laughs> 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 talking about hill. Climbing. How many bleeps you got to? got to put in the podcast now for that guy no none no, no, none no. Wes was on his best behavior on, for the he podcast behaved himself. yep that's incredible yep so yeah if, yeah i thank Wes for that uh, i was concerned i was like god i gotta <laughs> figure out how to get the bleep yeah the bleep does he out. yeah does he swear a lot yeah <laughs> oh does he yeah. i <laughs> wouldn't say he swears a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> But yeah, I would. You couldn't tell at all from from that conversation. No, no, Wes did a really good job on that on that hmm. interview. Cool. Did you ask him why he hit the reverse button at like the twenty third gate? <laughs> Is that what it was? Huh? <laughs> no, uh, no, that's just where he spun out. Yeah, he was, yeah. Slide, he was stuck. Slide, yeah, sliding backwards. <clears throat> huh? But yeah, that was uh, yeah. Wes was a really good call. Mm-hmm. We're we're talking about getting a swear jar in here. <laughs> Huh. Every time you swear, you like, put a dollar in. Fund the bush lights or something, or oh, there you go, Kyle. Yeah. A bush light fund, a bush <laughs> light, <Swear> light. <laughs> yeah, bush light fund slash swear jar. Brody, I'll bring in one of my pickle jars that I have. Yeah, you 10 have a million freaking <laughs> pickle jars. You you should give a, a call out if anyone wants pickle jars. Yeah, anybody <laughs> need any type of glass? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep the most dangerous things around the house possible. Huh. Glass. Glass everywhere. Glass, glass everywhere. Jars, I mean, glass cleaning. cups. If yeah. we start a beer fund out of a swear jar, you'd just be like, F this, F that. Yeah, just throw might, it might not be a good idea. <laughs> so most of the time I can't talk normal if I can't swear. So <laughs> I think it'll help. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vince, anyway. uh, anything anything big at uh, Fox this week? Um, 
Because your your job is way cooler than all of our jobs. What? Oh. <laughs> Have you seen what Kyle's working on though? It's a pretty fucking sweet custom painted. There's a swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work for guests, man. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what they gonna Ven- Venmo, Venmo us? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Request a Venmo and I'll just deny it. We'll start yeah. your Good tab. luck for that one. Yeah. We'll start your tab, and then whenever you reach Acacia Bushlight, you'll just send it to us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send it by carrier pigeons. I'll tell you how long it'll take. God, that'd be so cool. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> like World War One. Yeah. <laughs> well, the government controls all the birds, you know. Just the pigeons. Well, yeah. I don't know. I've shot a few in there. Like, they're made out of meat. Blood so. and guts yeah. on the inside. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're controlling them with telepathically. but Mine. Yeah. You probably get some people from the city to believe that. But, yeah. You know, for sure. There's up here, there's not much it. to see besides. You know, if you peek to my window around nine o'clock at night, you probably see some weird stuff. <laughs> huh. But nothing. Yeah, no, no, not like, much really happening. No it, NDA breaking exposures or nothing. No, no. Oh darn! Just getting some desert shocks ready for testing is about it. So, huh. yeah. Well, well, I guess. Uh, San Felipe 250 was yesterday. What is that? That's yeah, the what first is that? shore race of the season. So, like, the, down in Mexico. Oh. First race of that. Oh, that'd be sketchy to race in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Like, are they dealing with, like, the cartels and whatnot? And... Um, not really. Not, not like, where they're at, but oh. like that. Like, the whole reason, like, any of these cities are even, like, still happening is pretty much because the races come through. Oh, so, mm, otherwise, sure. they'd just be third world countries more than they already are. <laughs> oh, is that what you sent me on Instagram? Is that where that race is at? Where all those I don't people, where where all those people are Instagram. standing in the Oh, track. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh, I think they call it Zoo Road or something like that. Jeez. Yeah, it goes along this power line and all these idiots just like stand out in the way. It's like old school rally car stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the fun shit to watch. Yeah. God, those yeah, people are it's insane. hilarious. Why, why do you need to be that close to the to the track? Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. It's like the, no, there's stories of guys like in the trucks and stuff. They come back and there's like fingers and stuff in their roll cages because people try and reach out and touch these things when they go by. Jesus. I believe it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah, that's like uh, the Tour de France people too. Like yeah. why do you got to run yeah. that close yeah. to them? Right. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. always thought, you know, probably – what you'd call it as a bucket list, you know? I'd like to go watch the TT race, the Isle Man. Oh, oh yeah. God. Be oh, yeah. Sweet. That would be awesome to watch. Mm-hmm. And again, yeah. yeah, those people are damn close to the track, too. Yeah. They, yeah. I when mean, they're flying yeah. by going 180. Yeah, on country Yeah, road. but there's mm-hmm. like a shrub in between them and the motorcycle. Yeah. So uh-huh. okay. Just a line of bushes <laughs> two feet high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll save you. Mm-hmm. No, and I a would, curb. That would be cool to watch. Mm-hmm. I think it's yeah. like... Like on average, one person dies every year. Yeah, or if you uh, average two. Out, yeah, is, is it is two? It two? Yeah. God, damn. yeah, it's two a year. Jeez, that's sketchy. Yeah, on, so on average, to anyway. go watch it before they ban it, which yeah. I don't think they will. That race is. I don't think they will. Yeah, it's too crazy. It's the wildest mm-hmm. like race out I mean, there. Yeah. People entering it know what they're getting into. exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah. Yeah, I don't think they will. And it's Ireland, basically. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would be fun. That would be cool. That yeah. is a bucket list bucket thing. Bucket list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. you know. Maybe next year I'll go. Oh, damn you. <laughs> I'm talking when I'm like <laughs> fucking 50 or You'll something. You'll have to find <laughs> some crotch rocket guy to put some Fox shocks on or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't do those anymore. <laughs> Why not? Every once in a while, I get like an old ass ZX shock that comes through and you're like why is this still in service because <laughs> <laughs> they go oh, yeah can you fix it up like no none of these parts exist <laughs> like, you should have serviced it 70,000 miles ago <laughs> uh, any events on the on the calendar coming up for events of your, um, your next race this, you're going to I don't know what my next race is going to be oh. uh I'll be testing out in Barstow, middle of April, I think. I don't know. I think we're, I don't know, we're supposed to have another meeting about it, but I don't see anything on my calendar, so who knows. Oh. You're that busy, you got to keep a calendar, huh? 
Oh yeah. I would hate, I would <laughs> hate my life. Vince is, <laughs> Vince is doing emails and everything. Yeah. Like he's on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah work, work pays part of my phone bill. I have to use this thing so much. <laughs> that'd be weird. My email. Yeah. I, last time I checked, it said like 9,999 plus emails unread. Yeah. I was like, wow, <laughs> delete. Sense. Yeah. Delete all. Yeah. Of them. <laughs> Start scratch. Yep. Yeah. My, my, phone, my phone bills are right off for the racing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just got my taxes done. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I owe the government again. No way. <laughs> well, yeah, you have a kid. Bastards. Yeah. So the kid is like. Well, that was just this year, though. So that helped out. Yeah. But prior to that. Not I, good. I hate the government. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why do you do Bro, this? Yeah, Brody, you even had to pay in, too. Yeah, paid in 100 bucks. Freaking stupid. <laughs> I had to pay in the state of Minnesota because I didn't work here, you know, mm-hmm. for over half the year. Yeah. Oh, Mine was. I had it written on my hand. Mm. 545 bucks to federal. Thanks. To federal, really? Yeah. But then I, I think I owe $49 to the state of Minnesota. 180 back to, from state. How yeah. does that work? Mm. Yeah. How does that work? I ain't too bad. No, I was, but then H&R Block charges you an arm and a leg to do your taxes too. So mm. that's a smash tax. Yeah. Bagley, Minnesota. Who? Smash tax. What is that? You just drop them off and they're done like three <laughs> days later. Yeah, that you, sounds kind of sketchy. You pay them 150 bucks. No, it's actually really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that's what I have to pay, but I have to swear. I'm going to tell them that they, they need to sponsor me now because everybody knows that, that secret now. Huh. Smash yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. That sounds smash like tech. some backdoor. It's like kind of HR, stuff. you know? All yeah, right. You just throw your papers underneath the door <laughs> of an <laughs> of apartment building and pretty much. Well, they're paper clipped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're in a manila folder. <laughs> yeah. Can't be too thick, though. I mean, you should be able to read the handwriting. writing. Yeah. Huh. So, yeah, that, yeah, every year you could get me cussing about that taxes, <laughs> screaming at clouds. Yeah. Yeah. I hate the government. Like they, How are you going to get us demonetized? Well, I mean, who does it? Kyle goes missing. <laughs> The Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I, I I am not suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that the Boeing guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, what a story that is. The the I'm pretty sure our Facebook page is shadow banned somehow or some reason. No, we're not big enough to be shadow banned yet. Well, even like talking to Austin Leak about it because mm-hmm. sharing reels, like try to post one reel a day or something. And his his are even way down our views, and so are mine. It seems like they fluctuate. I think it's the seasons are like, changing. No, the algorithm is weird, man. Oh yeah, the true. Algorithm. The, the algorithm is is odd, but I don't think we're shadow banned. I don't know. It seems we're like. not big enough to <laughs> be cared we have about. Like thirty four hundred followers. Why didn't we get like thirty four hundred questions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> we had nine. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of it, but I'm redoing my basement, Vince, and <laughs> okay, it, it, it's gonna be cool. I got a bunch of old b- broken windshields from everybody. Do you have any memorabilia that you can get me? <laughs> hmm. I can't remember if I saved any of my windshields or not. I Wind think shield. I took the stickers off and sold them. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> the I want broken those, windshields. I want those stickers. The stickers add mm. to it. Mm-hmm. That's... I don't know. I'll have to look. Huh. Yeah, what about I guess those some Team Kick-Ass stickers. I should te- text Wes. Tell him to <laughs> bring me some cool memorabilia. <laughs> Give me a broken windshield, Wes. Yeah, we added a, a broken <laughs> windshield to the studio here. That's a that's, a, that's hood. a hood. A hood. It's true. Yeah, that is a hood. Sorry. Yep. But yeah. Well, if it's open, it's a windshield. It looks like Batman's broken masks. Yeah, we'll from the get movie, <laughs> mounted up somehow. Yeah, it, or it could just sit right there. But yeah, Vince. Luckily, we got those dirt bike miles on when we did because it's pretty cold out right now. Yeah, yeah, um, not great. The no. snow I still got the sand tire on though, so she's ready for the snow. Oh heck mm-hmm. yeah! I haven't even washed it yet. <laughs> 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 oh, Vince, another tech question I wanted. Since since it is getting to be dirt bike season now. What is, in suspension talk for VS3 suspension, what do you suggest people like check or do like first for their like suspension for the start of the season? What do they need to do? What what do people overlook the most? Um, Probably like linkage bearings and stuff like that and like steering head bearings. But yeah. 
Oh, that's what I just did on mine last mm-hmm. weekend. You torque it? Yeah, I don't do mine, so I don't know why I should tell <laughs> people to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, so that's know. another thing, like <laughs> torquing the stem bolt, you know. Oh, no, stem bolt? No, yeah. you just go by feel. Yeah. Yep. That's what you do? Well, no, it's the I bottom. Do. I sense the judgment. Bottom, isn't it right, Vince? The bottom <laughs> bolt, you torque, but then it's the top, the upper one you just do by feel, mm. I think. On the the steering stem or the triple clamp? Oh no, I'm th- I thought I, th- I said it the other on the, way around. On the stem, this, the stem yeah. is the one you do by feel, but the triple clamp one is the one you torque. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, generally too, like a guy should normally torque the steering stem one, but I like mine a little tighter anyway. So that's I'll, what, I'll like torque it and then do their procedure, and then it's just to leave it a little bit tighter. Uh, and so then you, the you like that a, nut on top, I'll torque it, but. You like a tighter, a tighter uh, steering stem, huh? Yeah, yeah. I I kind of do too. I like that floppy crap. Yeah, you know, I don't really. Yeah. Like do you it. get yeah. in them sandy whoops, you know, mm-hmm. it, and like the bars <laughs> are just like. <laughs> For us, it's always the little high speed chatter stuff. Like when you get on some grass track or something like that, and you're really going. That's when a guy gets some head shake. Do like do any of like the hair scramble guys run like any of those little KYB performance like front end dampeners at all? Yeah, I've seen those. Those are pretty cool. The oh, the little Showa like oh, steering dampers. Yeah, Showa. Yep, that's what I meant. Um, I don't know. I'm sure a few guys do. A lot of the, I mean, like in the desert, a lot of guys run steering stabilizers. Um, but I don't know. There's probably some, but I, I don't know a ton of the like the A guys and stuff that run them or anything. So, hmm. Oh, Vince, I was watching some of uh, Caleb Russell's old GoPro videos from his GNCC yeah. stuff. Hell yeah. And for how fast he can go and still have the thought of mind to wipe his GoPro off while he's doing <laughs> I know. it. Yep. It's unreal to me. <laughs> yeah, and then it wild. just does it for a lap and tosses it on the way through the pits. Yep. Wow. Yeah. To I, It's pretty crazy, like, when you – like when you watch a bunch of them, like just picking up on like things that he looks for or like line choices and all that. It's pretty cool. It's coming at me so fast. There's no way I'd be able to like <laughs> <laughs> even know what he's yeah, you're, you're at. picking out lines when you're racing that fast. Like you're, you're, yeah. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You're looking ahead for like arrows and finding little spots. You can like do some bushwhacking and cut out some shitty section or something like that. So no, yeah, not me. No, uh, I'd be bombing in the trees and just <laughs> send it right in the middle of the mud yeah. and just hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, that that's why I'm a sweep rider. I help people like you get out. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> At least I know I got you. Yeah. In the, in the woods helping me. Yeah. Throw you a rope or something. Mm. <laughs> well, helping slash laughing. You know. Same oh yeah. Thing. Point and laugh first. You have to. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> Like you said, there was that one guy last year that is like, I can't help you right now. You have to get out yourself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, two years ago, yeah. yeah. That was a funny story. <laughs> All the way down at the bottom of a hill, stuck in some rut for essentially two entire races. I'm like, you, you got to help me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. Yeah, I was in my race. Yeah, we're we're ready to ride dirt bike, Vince. Oh, Kyle's yeah. got the RM250 revved and ready to go. And hell yeah, I better order another plug for it. <laughs> <laughs> BR8EG. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, Dan. I do run the eight, <laughs> just a little bit hotter because it's supposed to take a little higher compression fuel. So yep. yeah, yeah, Kyle's got a race bike. Tumbler. Yeah, I got I do well, got a race bike. That's what the YZs use. Yeah. Yeah. You got that uh, K, KB5 suspension sticker on there. Mm-hmm. Well, it's all KB5 <laughs> is, it, do you, is that a Minnesota per- person, Vince? Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And the engine's even done up by KB5. Holy cow. Hey, he's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's out of business now. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I don't think he's doing stuff anymore. What are you going to do if it breaks down? <laughs> Give it to Vince? Yeah, VS3. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Problem solved. Yep. Vince, when are you going to start doing motor work then? Yeah. I mean, I'll do motor work. 
Nah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Might not run where they shit. <laughs> swear, yeah. swear jar. Swear. Oh, no. I've built many a two stroke that ran hundreds of hours. So. Yeah. I'd trust, I'd trust Vince. Yeah. How about a banshee? We're going to, you know, we're, we're turning into quad guys here. <laughs> <laughs> and Have I, you ever seen that dude that put a banshee motor in like a uh, dirt bike train? Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. Oh. That would be fun. Oh, if that's it's, like the exception of quads is a banshee. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm a two stroke guy because it's 350. Yeah. 350. Yeah. Two cylinder, two stroke. Yeah. Yeah. With, so they didn't come with exhaust valves, but an RZ or a whatever the hell the crotch rocket was that, you know, yeah, the RZ. RZ yeah. 350 had exhaust valves on it. So a lot of people did the swap back in the day, put an RZ engine in the banshee and you get exhaust valves. Yep. Oh, did, like, I think 2025 20, is the last year of the R1. What? Yep. Really? Yeah. What are they doing? Because of, yeah, they, of emissions, right? Well, nobody buys them. Like, it's people are buying, like, the R3s and R7s. Like, they haven't made an R6 for a while now either. Mm-hmm. I'll be damned. I didn't so know that. They're, yeah, they're, like, the, the smaller displacement bikes are really taken off because they're well it turns out they're more practical like, yeah well, you yeah. don't really need a 200 horsepower motorcycle for the street so True. <laughs> yeah Brody. they're going more towards like racing street legal bikes than making race bikes street legal oh sure mm-hmm. which makes more so, sense yeah oh yeah, yeah there's just does. less crazy people buying fast ass crotch rockets yeah but <laughs> the only reason you would buy like a cbr 1000 would be like just to have it. Well, yeah, yeah. because <laughs> it's not practical. I've, yeah, I yeah. know. I've thought yeah. about it. Like, God, it would be awesome yeah. to have an R1. Yeah. It would be insane just <laughs> to say you would have it. And like, you were looking at an H2. Well, no, well yeah. I was just oh, looking God. at those because <laughs> yeah. they're the craziest thing. I wasn't going to buy one. It would be yeah. sweet, though. Like, again, though, that, that would be, you could say I have the fastest thing on the road parked <laughs> in my garage. Yeah. Those cross plane R ones are pretty freaking sweet. The R one, sure. yeah. The, the R one is a sick looking bike, and they're they're yeah. cheap, like cheap, pretty cost effective. What do you For mean? Yeah, I, I think oh nine they switched to a cross plane, and I you could probably go get one for shit like three or four grand right now. Yeah, that's oh, really? a lot that's of bang for saying. your buck. They're yeah. cheap. Oh. You can go yeah. 200 miles an hour pretty. Well, I just look at the new one. I well, guess 186 just... is the speed limiter. It turns out. Mm. 186 uh, that's fast yeah. enough yeah 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 i could, could ma- i could see that could you imagine hitting like a bird at 180 Oof, duh. no have I you don't... seen the video of the guy that did it a few years ago no it, it's in the middle of uh i think it's like a world superbike race or something and like a fucking seagull or a dove or something flies across <laughs> the track and he literally headbutts it Oh, and it flies in front of him. That would be the best way to take it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take it anywhere else. If you got Just put that, your head no. down. And, if you got that at like the bottom of the ribs or something, yeah, that would hurt like a oh, son of a bitch. No, I want it yeah, center of the helmet. Can you imagine how loud that was inside the helmet, though? Just, <laughs> Just a hell of a disintegrating snack. a bird. Like someone shooting you with a, a beanbag gun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vince, another uh, another quad question for you. Okay. <laughs> God. Uh, you can ask your your uh, your quad guys though if you don't know. Why don't they put the Yamaha dirt bike 450 engine in the Yamaha quad? In the Yamaha. Oh, there's actually one guy that did it. I seen that. Um, and made like a hybrid thing. Yeah, it's, they call them hybrid quads. It's um, I don't know. I I think for those it doesn't really matter because like the the whole mass centralization thing isn't as big of a deal on those with the, you know, from, uh, like you're not leaning it over and stuff like that. Yep. So I don't know. It's, it's a lot of work for what it is and the, just how to fit everything in those frames and all that with it. Like it, it wasn't very pretty. No, it was like a it, lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of like engine, a lot of piping and yeah. Cobbling. So, and it's, I don't know. They're, which it's surprising to me that they're still using the five valve head in the the quads, but at the same time, like it's pretty much worked since two thousand three. So yeah, like I I think of my dad's O nine. He had like three hard summers on that thing and never had a single issue with it. Hmm. That yeah, was, that was yeah. a sweet quad. Yeah, but yeah, I just I was wondering that on why they don't have the the dirt bike engine in there because. Yeah, it makes more power, but 
Yeah, I don't really think it would. Oh, really? Like, by the time these guys are done building them and stuff like that, like, it's it's pretty much the same. Like I said before, it's – they're with the dirt bike stuff, they aren't really making a bunch of jam out of them, but the quads, like, they're just putting these things, like, on the edge. Like, they're they're – over 60 they're probably like 65 70 horse Jeez. so mm. <laughs> that's why they don't yeah. last very long when they're when they're that high yeah oh yeah it'd be like how how hot do you want to run your triple at pine lake kyle super yeah. hot do you want yeah. it to run if, if, if you were going to spend ten thousand all rpms for 10 laps <laughs> it's going to be hard <laughs> on some shit <laughs> yep yeah. yeah. huh. any other tech questions for vince brody Oh, uh, I don't know. How do you feel about the Yamaha Bolt? Yeah. Mm. How do I feel about yeah, it? Yeah, just what's your opinion on the Yamaha Bolt? Like, is there anything weird uh, about it, or do you know anything? I don't know. Um, We actually had one of those for a benchmark vehicle when we did scout stuff. Oh, really? Um, It's kind of, it's a little bit of an odd riding position, but I think it just needed, like, some different bars that were, like, hold back a little bit closer and it wouldn't be so terrible. Mm-hmm. And then it, it has like the, the typical like Yamaha street bike, like aggressive throttle tip in thing that I don't understand why they haven't figured out yet. But mm. other than that, it was, it was a great bike. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what Brody's looking at getting <laughs> down 950. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. I'd say Honda Groms. It's all just get groms. I'm not like, getting a damn grom. Why not? Like we could all just go cruise around. <laughs> I want a normal bike. I got my father in law's Nighthawk. I can yeah maybe ride around. Yeah, with those, you. those are sweet. I was, I was, you know what I was thinking would be cool is an old Yamaha V Max would be sweet. What's mm. that? It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. It, like a, yeah. Are they a V4? No, it's. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the inline Yamaha four one. Knowledge. What's that? They're, but they had like that big ram air intake yeah, the, on the front. The scoops on the fucking side of the tank. Swear jar. Sorry. Yep. But yeah, yeah, I think one of those would be sweet. Yeah. Vince just has all the Yamaha knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This summer pretty though, I might be Blue Crew Yamaha Bolt guy. That would be sweet. I don't Good. know. I'd Fuck, I'd get like a XSR nine hundred or like a. MT-07 or something like that. The See, the, like the MT-07, that's kind of like more of a naked crotch rocket crossover almost a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's like a naked sport bike. Like, they're not, like, ridiculous. It's actually the same motor that's in my T-7. That oh. motor's in, like, four or five different bikes that they make. Mm-hmm. Mm. But we had one of those, two at Polaris, and that thing was, it was a fucking great little bike. Mm. But Brody... You and know- actually, like, handled good. Uh, I'm going for the different riding style. Like I had the crouch rocket. Now I kind of want the the cruiser kind of yeah. style of the 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 bolt. Just to try. Just to try. Yeah. yeah. Just to try it out. Have a okay. have it for a couple summers. See how it feels. But yeah, then I'll probably go back to a more crouch rocket or sport bike. See what you like. Yeah. yeah. Might, maybe you might get a bagger. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Heck I might yeah. go full chopper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Bro. Yeah. This SS 121 is putting out 96 ponies right to the <laughs> yeah. two inches of Make rubber. 90 horsepower. Yeah. I will never be that guy. 7,000 degrees. Yeah. It's, uh, it, right to the two inches of rubber that's on the pavement. I'm, I will not be that guy. No. No, what I've been looking at, too, is his old two-stroke, you know, like the RZ and stuff like that. They're pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I could find like a TZ, yeah, like seven fifty or something like that. That's that. Uh, they're they're getting higher in price. I've looked at them, yeah. you yeah. know, and they're going pretty high. But I just love that the old like the Kawasaki's and stuff when they had air cooled triples in them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see the uh, Kawasaki made a? I think it's like a ZX two. Uh, I don't know. It's a a four cylinder. 200 cc four stroke and they, they rev to over 20,000 rpm <laughs> I, i've heard about them yeah holy yeah how yeah. fun would that be holy shit just slower than hell but they sound so <laughs> cool <Just> wound <laughs> out yeah <laughs> yeah no and i forget what it is but we've seen one of the heydays but the the honda honda six cylinder motorcycle yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. remember yeah oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah I, I was there you mean a gold wing no, 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 it no. was it was like a it was like a 
half sport bike, half road bike. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, but there, <laughs> that thing would it be looked sweet. wild. Yeah, yeah, just six pipes pointing at the ground. Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's basically a Cummins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huh. Well, okay, Vince. Well, what do you what do you got going on? Uh, you already asked that question, kind of. I was going to ask him what um, he's having for supper. Oh, <laughs> you haven't asked that. No, we're well, no one cares about wing. that. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Hell yeah. Cool. And then the exciters pointed out the garage. We're going to go shred all this fresh cow later. Oh, Are you getting any yeah. snow right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've probably got just about a little over five inches now. Oh man! Really? Holy wow. cow! We don't have yeah. we have like a dusting starting to show on like the roofs like right now. Yeah, but I saw you guys weren't really getting anything out there. No. Yeah, there's nothing out there. I think we're supposed to get like probably damn near a foot over the next couple of days. Oh so wow! It's gonna be real fucking exciting on the exciter. So. <laughs> Take it to Zorba's. <laughs> As Rob Halford from Jews Priest said, "Stand by for exciter." <laughs> when this son of a bitch hits 88 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious yeah. shit. It just takes. We just watch Back to the there. Future because oh. Hannah didn't know anything about Back to the Future, and her dad has a DeLorean, so really? we have to get her yeah. learned. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I ever told you that, but when I was working in New York, I was driving down the road one day and seeing a DeLorean on it, and I was like, "Huh," and it was painted red. I was like. You bastard. You oh. took away the coolness of yeah. it. Yeah. I think you told yeah. that story yeah. on this podcast already. Yeah. I but, think so. I think last time when we talked about it. Yeah. But, uh-huh. Yeah. I've seen a red DeLorean. Yeah. Before. Red DeLorean. Yeah. yeah. It's a s- stupid thing to do. Yeah. They made gold cars too. The DeLorean? Golden? Yeah. Hmm. I, th- I think three or four of them. I can't remember how many it was, but it was some deal with uh, American Express <laughs> that they like made some gold cars. So, yeah, uh, that one's for you, Feldman. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. yeah. Well, okay, Vince. VS3 suspension. Uh, did you get all those those sets of suspension worked on this week? Then, or what? Oh, uh, not all of them yet. Oh. No, but I'm sure we're getting you're, there. you're getting more and more every day too. Yeah, it turns out they aren't really in a rush for them yet. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta quit but I'll probably try and finish it. them by next weekend because I think I'm gonna be down there, give it back to them guys. So. Oh sure. Gotta quit yeah. messing around with these exciters and start getting in shape for an SRX. I didn't have to mess around with the exciter. I just pointed out the garage and roped it. <laughs> it just works. It's like posy. It just does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does that have an old Walbro carburetor on it with a fuel pump on the bottom of it? Um, no, it's just a butterfly one. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's a Makuni something, I think. Still. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, it's it's. I'm pretty sure the fuel pump's not on it. I don't know. I haven't even. I I think I've opened the hood like once. So. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way <laughs> broke it. the way the Yamaha intended it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exactly. only time you got to work on a Yamaha or a Tundra or like a Toyota mm-hmm. is when you just do regular maintenance. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cummins is that way? Yeah, too, I don't man? know. I got all the info to swap it over to like the newer style Yamaha clutches and put like a, a round slide on it and stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. But what's the point of opening the hood when you don't have to? Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> have to, but. <laughs> no, that last year. I had even my... right now, I don't think the oil pump works. So <laughs> when you go to the new clutches, you have to pre mix it anyway. Mm-hmm. So I, I've just been pre mixing it because the guy I got it from wasn't sure that it worked. I'm like, well, let's do the safe way. It's probably wide so. open on oil, so you just mix it oil <laughs> in. No. <laughs> it doesn't smoke, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that last year I had my Cummins. It was an issue every other time I started that thing. No, there wasn't, Gunner. Yeah, there was. That's, that's why I sold it. I was like, yep, my dad was right. It's just going to nickel and dime me. It's mm-hmm. like, yep. <laughs> The you get Toyota. them on the road and they just go. Yeah, you just open it, just oh, it's like that is so cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Wes would know too. Yeah, Wes does know. Yeah, yeah. he's a Cummins oh, yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How about you, Vince? What are you? Can he even get in those things? He's like not tall enough. 
Or is his little scrawny alien arm strong enough to pull him in? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's an alien arm. <laughs> well, that's, he got tired at the Sioux. That's why he crashed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, huh. well okay, Vince. All well, that babysitting and no working on snowmobiles. Yeah. I can. I imagine Wes, <laughs> like, training in the mountains like Rocky did. Like, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Just when he's <laughs> when he's training to fight the Russian, yeah, I imagine yeah. that's how Wes yeah. is training. There is for... no tomorrow, Rock. <laughs> I feel like he just like goes out in his backyard and tackles elk or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and, yeah he's, he's just dragging snaps of elk all the time. Yeah. Fights yeah. off these grizzly bears. <laughs> he was gonna bring us some, maybe some elk. Ooh, yeah. that'd be cool. I, I should ask, double check with him about that again. Oh yeah. But we'll give Vince. Well, Wes, we're gonna just poke in the eyes of a grizzly bear. <laughs> Getting all tore up. That's why his wrist hasn't healed. Yeah, <laughs> he keeps fighting bears. He's fighting, fighting bears. bears. Or no, those those timberwolves they just let out. Oh in yeah, Colorado, too. yeah. Oh yeah. I think those were kind of in his county. Yeah, that's good for the environment. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they better not get in his yard. No, <laughs> they'll fight him. <laughs> they'll be they'll be less than dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the tracker on this one is gone. Well, <laughs> yeah. Came in Wes's yard. <laughs> Floating down the river. Yeah. <laughs> you uh Yellowstone style. Yeah. 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 Is that yeah, they did that on oh yeah, they did do that on Yellowstone. What yeah. kill yeah. wolves or yeah, they killed the wolves and then uh they tied the trackers to a, a piece of wood and yeah. threw it down the river. Yeah, they took them to the train station. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Well, okay, Wes. Uh, Blue, Cooper Webb, Blue Crew. Wow. Yeah, Wes. yeah. You just called him Wes. I said Wes. <laughs> Cooper yeah. Webb. Well, okay, Wes. Wes. I was meant to say Webb. And oh Vince God! And I love to see <laughs> Cooper Webb win. He is. Did you guys see on like lap one, Jet like kind of came out and like slammed into Coop, and then like two corners later, like where they trained, like they did that the whoops into the wall jump, and then they do that tight left hander. Yep. And Webb, like, essentially exited stage right and fucking smashed Lawrence back. And, like, he almost went off the track on the start straight. He hit him so fucking hard. Oh, huh. no, I didn't. I guess I'll have to rewatch oh, yeah. it. I didn't see that. It, it was, was awesome. Like, so, it was right away. It was awesome. So that's probably why Wes, or, uh, where uh, Jet was trying to push the issue and come into him in the sand there and then crashed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, watching, watching Jet when he... He started making his way back up. He passed Anderson, passed Roxon, got right up behind Webb and Sexton. Like I told Mandy, yeah. it's like, we're watching like probably one of the best people to ever ride a dirt bike. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, it just doesn't look like he's trying ever. Yeah. No, and yeah. he's just catching crazy. these guys like, like it's nothing. Mm-hmm. He was like two seconds faster a lap. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep, that's right. Then the leader. Yep, that's yep. what I told Mandy, I was like, this might be the best to ever do it. And and when I brought <laughs> Katie with to the races out in New York, the uni, Unadilla, that was when Jet was on 250 or whatever. I was like, that kid is probably the greatest who will ever do that. <laughs> and she's like, oh, these guys are like that level? I was like, there's this like 30,000 people here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's and these TV are, yeah, yeah, the yeah, semi truck. And, and these, these ain't even the guys that are good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is not the top level. It's an amateur race. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, "Oh, these are these are those level." I was like, "Yeah, and like this is the top." But yep. it was pretty cool to watch them in the two hundred and fifty, and then this year in the four hundred and fifty. Yeah, I think Pulp Mex said he's won the last five championships he's entered mm. of two fifties mm-hmm. to the last year's. Really? Yeah, because yeah, huh. he won out on two fifties, Supercross, yep. Motocross, both mm-hmm. years, and then last year's Motocross for four hundred and fifty. Yeah. Yep. And pretty much it's going to be this year's su- Supercross, too. Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Like, uh, Daniel Blair had a hot take on Pulp MX where he said he's going to win until he gets bored, and then he's going to go to MotoGP. You think so? That's what his take was. Because supposedly yeah. some some racer did that many years ago. I forget his name, but he said somebody went to MotoGP mm. after dirt bike racing. Hmm. Oh. Fuck yeah, well, what was that? all this uh, snow cross stuff with Elias Ishul and him racing F1? What? Yeah, they they said he was signed up for like or doing F1 stuff. I didn't hear. I didn't. I didn't hear any of that. Really? Yeah, it was last year. 
There's no way. The car wouldn't last him more than two turns if he drove like he rode a snowmobile. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Like even, uh, yeah, uh, Max, the F1. You'd have to put him in NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> NASCAR would be sweet. Uh, even like, like just, yeah, Xfinity Series, work your way up to there. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> Uh, the F1 race was in uh, Australia this weekend. Max Verstappen, number one Red Bull guy, uh, right yeah. rear, right rear caliper was dragging on him from the start of the race. Lo- uh, right rear brake and everything on fire in three laps. <laughs> yeah, on the on the top tier yeah. F1 team, yeah. a caliper was dragging. It's like. Man, if you if you don't think that just mechanical stuff just happens sometimes mm-hmm. to happen to them, it's like it's unreal. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no shit. So it's like next time I have like a little malfunction, it's be like it happens to Red Bull yeah. F one. Never happens to a Cummins <laughs> though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty sure that almost every brake caliper on a Cummins out there is stuck right now. So. <laughs> yeah. I would say not mine, but I haven't drove it this week, so probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's stuck then. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I'd say Jet Lawrence is going to be. I think he's going to break McGrath's record of seventy-two wins. I don't know. I don't think he's going to stick <laughs> around you, long yeah. enough to do it. You don't think so? Nah, I think he'll get out early, like Bill Photo did, basically, mm. or like Dundee. He'll just be like, "Yep, I'm good." Yeah, that could be. Yeah, but there's really no competition. Like, he's wouldn't you just get bored of it after a while? Making more money, you'd know what to do with. I don't know. And it looks like he's not <laughs> trying. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, do what you want to do. I bet you. you They're in the cars. I know that. Yeah. I don't know. That's my opinion. Yeah, I bet we'll see him in car racing before MotoGP or something like that. I don't know. He's unreal. Like some of that barren stuff or something like that. Just starts uh, dirt track racing or something stupid. Like Dan Ebert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Super small. Not even on TV. Yeah. Just dirt track racing. <laughs> yeah, this is what I love. Sprint cars are just insane. Just racing harness or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sprint sprint racer would be sweet. It's out there in the last neon ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Turn and left. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the front wheel drive four cylinder class. Yeah. Huh. Well, this, okay, Vince. Yeah. This is my passion. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was born for. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he's Honda, so you'd have to have like some little Honda Civic. Yeah. Civic, yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Same thing. This yeah. is my passion. <laughs> A little pull down in RPMs. Yeah, yeah. Just see the tack just wiggle a little bit when it's like at like eight thousand and then shift. Back down to three. Uh, Well, okay, Vince. Well, we're gonna try to pull a dent out of my truck here with a plunger after we're done talking. So. Or if you got a... I think Brody's got a plunger. Yeah. I got a plunger. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Trees are berms that right. don't move, Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit a tree with it? No, Mandy said a, a grouse or a, a something came out of the ditch and s- smoked it. I got pretty much the identical uh-huh. dent in my... That's how the Boeing car. guy disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a pretty much the identical dent in my car, so we'll try it on mine first and give it a test run before we work on your nice shit. I don't know. We'll try it. He didn't disappear, by the way. They killed him. Well, that's what I mean. They hit him with a tundra. No. <laughs> <laughs> they pushed him in front of a tundra. Mandy secretly works yeah. for the CIA. Yeah. Oh, I hit a grouse. <laughs> oh, it turns out it was actually a human grouse. grouse. or a pheasant. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he looked like he was in flight to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, Vince. Well, good luck at work. All right. Week. Yeah, yeah. Have fun. Keep doing God's work. Sack and thin washers Maybe. for erasers. Yep. That's so what we do. People depend Stack on washers, you. Yeah. Throw people, holes. People depend on you. You're doing, yeah, you're commuting, com- commuting to society. No. What, were, what no. was that word we were? <laughs> Not commuting, but um, contributing. Contributing. There we go. <laughs> couldn't, we couldn't think of that word oh, yesterday. <laughs> Okay, VS3 suspension. Yep, does God's work. That's me. Yep. (laughs) 
Okay. See you, Vince. <laughs> See you All later, right. Vince. Bye now. Mega Bye. float. Mega float. An hour with Vince. Yeah. <laughs> oh my that just kept going. <laughs> Well, I kept having quite, I totally well, forgot well, to yeah. talk Supercross with him. But yeah, Cooper Webb, he's a dog. He's got the dog in him. Yeah, I love to see it. Oh well, yeah, I just like seeing other people win besides mm-hmm. Jet Lawrence. Like I'm, there's still competition there. I'm done picking Tomac. You picked Tomac again? For like I think I picked him for I second. I left it the same again. Uh, I think I did too. Look, Shit. I've totally forgot. Looking at RM Fantasy. But I went to uh, the bar, so I completely re re sinner. <laughs> Ree and Dylan S- Stevens are in first. One point behind is Dad. Oh, well, Dad's good. Yeah. He's, he's freaking good at Dad's it. Dad's first in the DMC group again, mm, so mm-hmm. he's working on trying to get another free set of gear out of them. Bitchin'. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. My, as hard as I try. I'm in fourth. My, I've had the same picks for four weeks in a row As now. hard as I try on my picks, I suck. My picks have not gone good at all. At all. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you can see it. They did not good. Yeah, I, I could give you my lineup, and they just do good <laughs> consecutively. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Re, Re and uh, Dylan and Dad are battling out. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to say toward, you know, once the end comes around because they drop, like, one or two of your worst scores. Mm-hmm. So then oh. you can't really say – who won, like, right after the last race. You have to wait to see what the score has dropped. Yeah, so. I'm 30 points down from them, guys. Yeah, that's cool. where I... Where am I? When I beat uh, when I beat Brandon Green last year in the DMC group, last 11. year or two years ago, I beat mm. him by one point after the scores were dropped. Mm. So, so that was pretty cool. I don't know. I was into it right away, but eh, I just... Because I was sending I'm, you guys the qualifying orders yeah. every time. But now I just yeah, I'm not a, I'm not never been a big fan of fantasy shit, fantasy football like we did it this year and yeah I just don't care about sports. If it was sports, yeah, <laughs> go, go, go sports, yeah. go team, <laughs> go team. If it was like a fantasy on the UFC, maybe I'd be into it a little more. But even then, like did I just you, don't care. Did you see UFC that one guy bit that other? Yeah, guy? oh yeah, freaking stupid. What are you mm-hmm. doing, yeah. dude? Pretty sure he's out of the UFC yeah, now. He yeah, he's, he got dropped. Yeah, totally dropped. Yeah, they dropped him. Yeah, to you be should start betting on UFC. No, you can start betting on Supercross now. Oh, yeah, they just started that this past weekend. Yeah, you should start betting on UFC. Mm. You'd get the biggest rush out of it, I bet. Well, yeah, freaking. Are you a gambler? No, not at all. Oh. You have a gambling addiction. <laughs> There's a number I do, you can call. I do like poker and like Texas Hold'em. We think... should get together and play poker one I, night. I don't think I've ever we... bought a pull tab in my life. <laughs> Really, yeah, pull tabs. I, I do it because for like the VFWs and stuff like that. I think pull tabs are dumb, but Texas Hold'em, poker night at my house. We that should would, do it. That would be a blast. I've mm-hmm. never had a lot of money, so I don't gamble. We did yeah. one poker night not too long ago, and it was a blast. Speaking not having a lot of money, I mean, I think we're all in the same boat. <laughs> 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 yeah. We do this expensive thing called racing for yeah. some reason. Yeah. So, yeah, just shoot for that every single year, and then it's like. <laughs> Well, now <laughs> I got to restart. <laughs> should I have said how much I paid the government? It doesn't matter. I don't it, know if I should have said that or not. I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting back. Mm-hmm. Probably like mm-hmm. 10 grand or something. Live, I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting <laughs> yeah. back. Maybe I was just lying. So Maybe that'll that's probably, what I pay in. That'll push Brody to, you know, have kids. And that's what my one coworker said. You know, the best thing you could do to make yourself some money is just have a bunch of kids and get a shitload of taxes back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's your way of making money. Holy Unreal. fuck. Huh. Okay, Brody. Okay. How, how long have we been going for? Two hours. Perfect. Two hours, three minutes. That's a perfect Jeez. episode. Yeah. Because, like, the, when we went long that last one, my computer worked so hard. Oh, just yeah. steaming. Like, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. like I was deleting files to try to get enough space to even put it on the computer. That's what my Xbox is going to look like after this. Just <laughs> steaming from Fortnite. Call of Duty. Three dubs in a row because Elden I had Ring. to remake an account and everything because I lost everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remade the account and I just started playing Fortnite and I'm just... Playing bots. I'm shitting on kids. <laughs> you're playing bots yeah. and you're starting on a brand new account. Yeah, I'm trying to work my way up to get like <laughs> back competitive so it's fun, but... Me and Brody are platinum on Call of Duty. Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Touch grass. Yeah. I'm in I'm in Elden Ring. Uh, deep. Mm-hmm. 40, 
45 hours in, oh in my this. God. That's a, more than a work week. Mm-hmm. I got into Touch it. Touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> There's no good getting covered up with snow yeah, again. It is yeah, right now. Yeah. Anyway, no way. You are well. starting to look sweaty, so. Like, I'm yeah. such a douchebag now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end on that. For, for everybody that watches the whole show, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You, because yeah, you had a few comments on your... Uh, your so, Forrest Gump running. Yeah, but yeah, I actually looked at the comments when it's when I saw uh, who was it? We re yeah said something about me being like Forrest Gump, and then there's another comment <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> yep. and it's like we talked about that like in the last five minutes of the podcast, yeah. and it's like who is listening? It's, uh, I, some people are, so yeah, that's that's if you're cool. Watching on YouTube, you get to see us do it. Yeah, you get to see all the weird stuff. But yeah, thanks for listening to the whole show. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening as mm-hmm. usual. Twenty five episodes. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're doing it since heydays. That's and um, Parker Bow, I saw him at the bar last night. That was cool. Just throwing shout outs out yeah, there. Shout yeah. out to Parker Bow. That was cool. <laughs> he, he he recognized me, Brody from the Shop Talk podcast. I'm like, hey, Were you wearing your merch? No, no, oh. no merch at all. Oh. Um, I was in disguise. You still have yep. merch available. Mm-hmm. Hit me up. Yep, merch, shirts, hats. Yep. <clears throat> anyway, all right. yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. Yep. It is. <laughs> Make it a just, cool thumbnail. Just a thumbnail. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not into the thumbnails. Yeah. Anyway, all right. All see right. ya.